Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday. I hope everybody's doing well. I am doing good. I have had a, I've had a, a fairly uneventful day. Hi, Vicki. How are you guys? How are you all? As you can see, I haven't done much since our, our last stream on Friday. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Sandra. Welcome. I'm so happy you guys are all here. So I thought maybe we could work on some postcards, some art postcards, you know, like something you might mail to somebody. You guys game for that? I'm sorry. I'm, I did not clean off my desk, you guys. I had a I had a busy day. Hi, Susan. Hi, Jan. Hi, Vicky S. Hi, Bridgeline. Hi, Jillian. So I it poured rain here last night and all the electric and everything went out on the whole island. So that was kind of like you know, it's like one of those things you don't realize how, um, you know, how things really work. Like <laughs> the lights went off here at our house, but that's not unusual, but it went off on the whole island. So it was crazy. It's been kind of a crazy day. Hi, Lori. Hi, Sandra, Cassandra, Joyce. So what I thought we would work on today is some postcards, you know, like the, hopefully I have some in this, in this. In this uh, magazines like you can make them out of anything if I don't have any of those reply cards in here I'll just make them out of something else but um you know the four you know the postcards that you get that come in these magazines you guys I have a pile of magazines how is it the two that I pick have none in them that's just how it works for me hi BJ yeah, everything does require power here, Jan, believe it or not. It was, like, ridiculous. So, like, I went to, I didn't realize the power was off on the whole island. I just thought it was off at my house. So I went to to the bank, and it was closed. I mean, the people were there, but there was no power, and they couldn't do anything. <laughs> so I went to, you guys, every one of these magazines does not have one of those things in it. You guys see I'm notorious for taking that stuff out of stuff. So ridiculous. Let me see. Let me look through this Vogue one more time. I bet. Yeah, so I went to the bank to get, to go to the bank, and the bank couldn't do it. So then I said, well, certainly it's not on the other part of town as Target. And they were, they, the same thing. So let me see if I can get a couple of other magazines. You guys, this is how my life goes. What is up with me? What am I ridiculous? I thought, let me see if I have another magazine close by. If not, I have to get up and. Mm. So, you guys, I told you my laughable story, right? I moved all of my stuff back into my guest room or my third room. Like, we have four sleeping spaces in our house like three proper bedrooms and the other one's like sort of a half bedroom you know it's just big enough for a bed oh I love that I'm getting that great these none of these magazines have that in there guys I'm ridiculous I can't I must have gone through and taken them all out you guys what is wrong with me anyway so I moved everything back into our guest room our, our real big bedroom the one that used to be my daughter's and then she went off to college and then my older daughter came home with her husband this doesn't even have one of those reply cards okay guys this is how my life rolls so stupid and so my daughter that's away at college was in the half bedroom and then she decided after I moved all my crafting stuff into that bedroom, got it almost set up, she decided she was coming back. Hi, Carla! Oh, no, you're... Hi, Cindy. Welcome, welcome. Well, I thought we were going to work on postcards, and we will, but we'll just have to make them ourselves. 
just let me just look one more second and let me see if I can find. I also got some cool happy mail I want to show you guys. And um, somebody wanted to see the painty papers. Somebody messaged me and said I want to see painty papers. Guys, I'm totally ridiculous. All right, let me just grab this pile of magazines and see if there's another one of those um, those cards in it. Hi, Carrie. We're happy you're back. Welcome, welcome back. Happy birthday, Bet. Everybody wish Bet a happy birthday. And everybody say hi to Pat. Pat is out and having her treatments, but she is watching us. So everybody say hi to Pat. I'm going to get in a couple more magazines. Be right back. You guys, chat amongst yourself. How ridiculous. I get all the way over here. So anyway, right before the stream started, my neighbor came over to see if we had the back part of our house had electricity. Anyway, it's been a crazy day. So my house has some electric, not all electric. So I wasn't sure <coughs> if I was going to be able to stream. But the rest of the whole island is pretty much out. Like, my daughter went to go to to work and she said the electric's out. My other daughter was supposed to have a parent-teacher conference, but there's no electricity at school, so there was no way. Okay, you guys, I'm batting a thousand with this magazine thing. Hang on one second. This tells you how I roll, you guys. I take, I took all of those, I took all those bits out. All right, I do have a bag of junk mail, though. Let's look in here and see if I don't have it. <coughs> you lost your mind along the way. Everybody's saying happy birthday, bed, and they're saying happy birthday, I mean, hi to Pat. Hi, Georgia, welcome, we're happy you're here. Okay, I'm gonna, this is my last magazine to flip through, and if we don't have it, there's nothing, if there's not one of those, one of those subscription cards in here, I'm just going to call uncle and we'll just make our own. I'll look through my junk mail. You guys, sometimes I take stuff out and obviously I must have taken it out. That's okay. This is a little bit thicker. The only reason why I want the subscription card is because it's like a small size. You know, a proper postcard is like, what is it, three by five or four by six? They're like, what's a post? Does anybody know the post, the regular postcard size? So, you guys, I'm totally retarded today. I am like, I'm like out of my mind. It's like, what am I doing? You guys, I'm having a remedial moment here. So, have you guys seen all the hubbub over? the demonetization of your videos. Has anybody seen that or is it just, this is such a good thing. I'm going to take this one out and take the inside part of it out too. Has anybody, I mean, any of you have YouTube channels and have seen that you're, um, I love this. This will be great. I might cut this out. I might need it for my, since we're going to make postcards, I might need it. Anyway, um, <clears throat> there's this big hubbub over the demonetization of some YouTube channels. And I thought it was Carla and I had both experienced it. And if you guys haven't gone over and watched her channel, it's awesome. She's called Caged Fish on YouTube. And she's a fabulous collage artist. And you would all love her. So go on, head on over and see her. So this is how it works. So YouTube, you have to you monetize your videos. Like you clicked... You click monetization of your videos and they match you up with ads. Oh, this was, this one might be good. This is kind of thick. They match you, maybe not. Um, they match you up with ads that would be appropriate for your videos, right? And then you click through and then like if you watch the videos all the way through at the beginning of, at the beginning of the videos, then the person that has the YouTube channel gets, I don't know, it's pennies, you guys, if anything. I mean, you have to have thousands and thousands and thousands of viewers and have thousands of people watch you before you actually really get anything. So, 
I would say, you know, I can look through my my thing. I've had, I don't know, 100,000 views or I don't know, something like that or 200,000 views in my analytics. And I can tell you it doesn't really amount to a lot of pennies. So I'm sorry. I'm looking for something. Oh, this is good. This will be good. I was just looking for something to use for my postcards. So the big hubbub is they're going through and they are demonetizing people's videos without even talking to them about it. And they, I mean, like I got one, I think it was on, it's on a painty paper one or something. And, you know, initially I thought it was because we used the word gun, like glue gun or heat gun. Well, I guess right now they're demonetizing people that are having that, and they think it's called, Octo it's from that October, that Inktober, which I think is silly. I don't know why people would do that for Inktober, but that's what they're doing. So, or they think it is. They don't, nobody's really quite sure. So the big hubbub is, is that, you know, YouTube's doing it to everyone, not just to, if it's people like Carla and I, I mean, I have a fairly small channel. And I don't know how many, I don't know how many subscribers you have, Carla, but the two of us, I don't, you know, like, I was just thinking that it was, I think it's like a robot thing, like a, you know, an algorithm thing where, you guys, I like, if you, if this is your first time joining me, I'm addicted to junk mail and I make art with junk mail. So I think we're going to make some postcards from this junk mail. And I know you can't imagine what they're going to look like, but they'll be cool by the time we finish. Anyway, so... To make a ridiculously long story short, in one of the groups I'm in, um, a very large crafter that we all know and love, like she has hundreds of thousands of subscribers and millions of views, it, they did it to her. So I think that they are, hi Sarita. So I, th I think with the hub, I think what it really is, is that, you know, I think it's a robot type of thing, but they're thinking that it's subs uh, advertisers starting to dictate what is acceptable content for advertising or not. So I thought it was pretty interesting. I thought it was very, very interesting. Welcome back, Sarita. We missed you. No, I was talking about YouTube, Scotty, how they're demonetizing videos. And the, there's, if you go on there and, I mean, if you just put in demonetized videos on YouTube, you'll see, you'll see a whole conversation about it. It's just, you know, YouTube's a business. So, I mean, maybe not for me or for Carla, but, I mean, we do it for the fun of it. <laughs> Vicky says crafting is such a shifty topic. I know, right? Especially paper crafting. <laughs> Hi, Scotty. I'm so happy to see you. Hi, Trish. Okay, so before we start, so this was the painty paper that I ended up making last week. I wanted to show it to you because somebody sent me a message and said, can I show how it finished? Hey, Linda. Hey, Amanda. Happy to see you. So I did put a coat of Mod Podge on the top. You can see it. I haven't done anything to the back. I will paint the back because I do find when I'm making these really big pieces, especially if I'm going to use them for a cover of something, it's always good to have both sides painted. You know, it's so funny though. Okay, who would have thought like years ago we would be discussing demonetizing um, crafting videos? It's so silly. Well, I was at first, I was appalled. I was like, How, what do you mean my content isn't suitable for advertisers? I was like, that's ridiculous. I said, I'm talking about paper and glue and crafting. <laughs> Susan says she goes by Susan here, but Chuck and Cage Fish. Because, you know, she does it because there's so many Susans. Isn't it funny? Hi, CJ. Okay, so this is my painting paper from last week, and I'm really happy with it. I'm liking it. My brownie pa my paper bag. Um... I don't know if you can tell it from here, but it does have a lot of depth to it. And I'm, it's, it's, I like it. I'm excited to use it. I don't know what I'm going to use it in. I'm going to use it as a cover of something. I don't know, but I'm liking it. 
So this was the painting paper book that I finished. I didn't put all the painting papers that I made in, and I did find my pile of painting papers. They were under my computer. I'm, you guys, I'm like having my own moment. I'm like, so I made this envelope out of brown paper bag, and then I made it like a traveler's notebook where you, I, I painted it fully the week before. So you guys saw me how to make it. You saw me make it. Then I put the elastic through, and then I filled it with painting papers. And these, I might use some of these painting papers in my, in my collage today, in my paper my postcard collage so and my pa I love painting papers I'm addicted to them how many of you guys are addicted to painting papers I'm like into painting papers Bridgeline I don't know what it is thanks Amanda are you lurkies out there say hey so all right so I'm gonna show you guys my happy mail I got the most exciting happy mail this week and I haven't really rummaged through all of it because I wanted to save it for when I was going to see you guys. And um, I haven't. The other thing I wanted to point out to you, we're, we're going to work on making some postcards. So what you need is something. You can don't you can use cardstock. You don't have to use junk mail like me. Um, or you can use ugly scrapbooking paper. Just need it about the size of a postcard, which is about 4 by 6 But you can make it any size you want that you're going to send it in the mail. Okay? And you don't, if you know, you don't have to ship it out. This is just, I'm, I like to make art postcards out of junk mail. You guys know me and my obsession with junk mail. So this is what you need if you, if you want to make a, a postcard with me today. I usually like those inserts that come inside of magazines, but obviously my magazines, I've already taken them all out. Other thing I wanted to, <clears throat> to, to show you is, how many of you guys have one of these? Uh, this one's from a from a store called Lush, which is a cosmetic store. But this size of a little magazine makes a perfect, per perfect, perfect. Hey, Mildred, makes a perfect art journal. Hi, Mary Kay. So I just want to point it out to you. Um, I think they sell. I think they give this size away at Bed Bath and Beyond as well. This one has a lot of pages in it. I've made art journals with it before. I looked for the one that I completed, but you guys, since I haven't, since I moved my craft room and had it almost set up, and then my daughter decided she wants that bedroom full time now instead of the little half bedroom that she sleeps in if three or four nights a week because she was spending the other time at college, spending, staying in a college. She's got college housing too. So since so she decided she wanted to move back home. I had to rebox everything up, and I haven't reset it up. I've had kind of a week. So I know the holidays are coming up. Save these little periodicals, and we'll make something out of it, okay? And then these are for my painting paper. So let me show you my happy mail. Okay, I got some really cool happy mail, and I am I I just want to show you some of it. I got this enormous box of happy mail from Trish. And I'm not going to read you the letter that she wrote me, but let me see if I can even pick up this. If I can even pick up the box of stuff she sent me. I haven't looked through all of it because I wanted to do it with you together. Guys, I threw my shoulder out. And can I tell you, I have really hurt myself. I'm going to have to break down and go to <coughs> the chiropractor. Trish says she organized her her junk, and she, her junk mail and she's proud. Awesome. She sent me a beautiful letter. I'm going to give you guys a flip through of the journal that she made me out of a magazine, which is gorgeous. But I want to show you, I'm going to use these for my postcards. This is what she sent me. These are those crayons. They're like gel crayons, which I think are a lot like gelatos. And these are from, um, Trish, where did you get them? Like Hobby Lobby or someplace like that? And they were on sale. So this is what I'm going to use. These water soluble crayons, and I'm excited. So I'm gonna use these for my postcards today. But look at what she sent me, you guys. Okay, so she sent me some wallpaper, which I love. You guys know I have a thing for wallpaper too. And then she sent me the cool, this is also wallpaper, which I totally love, and it has amazing texture on it. Love it, love it, love it. So, and some burlap. 
Love it. I kind of peeked a little, but I didn't look at everything because I wanted it to be a surprise. <gasps> wow, I love this. Look, she did this in scrapbooking paper, and it's got texture paste on it. Maybe Friday we'll do texture paste. I did a whole bunch of uh, tags with texture paste on them. And I'll give you the recipe to make your own. Oh, I love this, Trish. It's gorgeous. You know, I have my own personal junk journal going on, so I'm going to add it to it. So she sent me all these goodies. And it might be too much to show everybody, but I love Project Life cards. I use them in my journals a lot, and I love them. How many of you guys like Project Life cards? Love them. You can also use them in your mixed media art, too. Maybe I'll keep a few of these out, and we'll use these in our mixed media, too, today. And then she sent me, you guys, look. There's tons of goodies. Let me see if I can take it out. I mean, my table is so small. Can you see the whole size of my table is the size of this express mailbox? It's ridiculous. So she sent me her version of, I think it's like a flowish journal. Oh my gosh, you guys. And it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at it, you guys. And she put it, she bound it with those hair elastics, you know, a flowish style journal with, oh my gosh, I love it all die cuts. Oh my goodness. And I love that you put them in this plastic sheets. I don't have any of those. And washi tape. And I love these skulls. Because I'm still going to make my zombie journal. My life has gotten out of hand. I have not been able to. Oh, I love these napkins. Love them. Love, love. Oh, look at this. Is that awesome or what? I'm definitely going to make my, it won't be before Halloween, but who cares? I can make it any time. This is great, too. Look at this one. Isn't that great? Hi, Edna. Oh, Trish, I love all of this stuff. Thank you so much. I'm a little overwhelmed. Look, isn't this cool? It says soar, and on the other side it says create. Maybe I can make a journaling charm out of it for my journal. You guys, I have an enormous junk... A junk journal that I use for my own stuff and I'll show it to you guys sometime. It's just a little embarrassing how big and fat it is. She sent me ribbons and more Halloween stuff. Oh, I love all of it. And she sent me, oh, this is cool. I love this die. I'm assuming they're die cuts. I love it. Love the paper. Love this. So I was talking with her one day about <clears throat> ugly scrapbooking paper. How many of you guys have it? I certainly do. This is beautiful. But you know what I think is ugly? Like, some of you guys might think is beautiful. Oh, I love these, Trish. Thank you so much. These are just beautiful scrapbooking pages. Tons of nice scrapbooking paper. Oh, this is so sweet. Like little ducks. Love it. Oh, she sent me some simplicity printouts. I love it. Oh, Trish, I love all this stuff. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. Look at the sheet music. And she's put some butterfly washi on it. I love it. Right now I'm making a paper bag journal. I will show it to you. I thought I would show it to you guys today, but I it's not in a... I have to finish sewing it. It's not in a good place to show anybody yet. This is gorgeous, Trish. Thank you so much. Love all of this. Oh, wow, look. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, and you made this. Is this the top of like a, is it, what is this a top of? Is this just like a tag? Oh, I love it. Oh, I love this. Oh, and look at the bookmark. It has like my initial on it and it's metal. Can you guys see it? Gorgeous, gorgeous. <clears throat> so... Are you guys ready for Halloween? I'm certainly not. I was going to make my zombie journal because my whole life has kind of gotten away from me. Hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll be able to... I love all of this, Trish. I'm going to... Hopefully I'll be able to tell you what's going on with me, but i got to give it a few weeks. I love this. Love it! Guys, I have a thing for envelopes. How many of you guys have a thing for envelopes? Handmade or otherwise? Oh, Trish, these are beautiful! <gasps> love it look at this this is like a little one of those um like a clasp envelope 
but small. And look, it's handmade and painted. Love it. It's going into my homemade journal. You guys see my handmade journal, you're going to laugh. You'll be like, it's big. My handmade journal is big. Oh, I love these ribbons. Love them. You guys, where I live, you don't get much of anything. So, hence my obsession with recycled stuff. I love everything that you sent me. Gorgeous. Love these paper bags. Oh my goodness. Somebody asked in our group, and, I, and if you guys haven't gone over to join our Facebook group, please do. It's called Crafting Moms on Facebook. I love this, Trish. Awesome. Gorgeous. Love these little bags. Um, Scotty wrote in there, these are awesome too. Scotty wrote in there, what is the one thing that you've bought that you haven't used yet? Or, you know, it's like a confession. Oh, you guys, look! The calamari method! It's perfect! <laughs> it is the calamari method. Oh my gosh, Trish, I love it! It's gorgeous! My life is the calamari method, you guys. I think my whole life. Oh, I love that! I like the other side of it, too. It's like a little one of those plastic bags that had some... It's a packaging thing, and it's what you put the ribbon in. Very clever. Oh, and I love the tissue paper. Love it. I'm going to definitely do some, maybe I'll use some of that in my, in my making postcards. Oh, scratch off tickets. I love them. Look, and she did art on the back. Isn't it beautiful? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Jillian says, does Trish have her address? <laughs> So, Scotty asked, what was the one thing, these are beautiful, I might have a thing for envelopes. Scotty asked for what was the one thing that you use, or that you got that you haven't used a lot of, and you guys, my confession is scrapbook paper. Oh, I love this, look, this came from the supermarket, excellent. So, I went to my sister's, oh, I love this too, I went to my sister's. Mm, maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago, and I bought scrapbook paper from, love all of this. Well, look at this, trick or treat, eek zombies. Oh, I have so much for my zombie journal. I'm super excited. Rub-ons and <gasps> stickers, hocus pocus. Oh, these are excellent. Um, I bought all these scrapbook paper. Oh, I love it. Look, here's an envelope, te envelope template. Oh my gosh, it's, look, and it's made from thick plastic. This is very excellent. I love my envelopes. Oh, these are great. Oh, Trisha, I love everything. I'm going to have to scour through it all super slow. Oh, I love this. The mandalas are gorgeous. And this one's like cut a cutout mandala. Oh, my gosh. Love it. So I, I went to visit my sister, and I don't usually bring much home. The one thing I do bring home is spices. Oh, my God, I love this. Look at this. This is, is it a bag? Or oh, it's, it's a piece of scrapbooking paper that she's cut the mouth out of <gasps> and made a pocket. Oh, I love it. And then she put stuff in it. Oh my gosh. So I'm really going to have to force myself to do, do my zombie journal soon. <clears throat> so she took, the only thing I usually buy that's super expensive here that you can't get really good quality of is spices. I mean, you guys, you get down to basics here. You know, you don't, it's not a place to accumulate anything. This is beautiful. And so I buy spices, but this pastime, Trish, I, I adore this. I am like, I'm a little, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And I'm a little um, overwhelmed. This is beautiful. I will go through it more fully. Look, and she glued all these things on top. She collaged on top. And this is... She put the scrapbooking paper. This is like a heavier, heavier packaging of some sort or box. I love it. It's gorgeous. And she sent me some more scrapbooking paper, you guys, which I'm not going to pull out. But anyway, I'm not going to pull out. But thank you, Trish. And then I want to share with you guys the really special journal that she made me. So Scotty asked, like, what was your one big thing? And mine was that I that I have scrapbook paper. I don't have a ton of scrapbook paper, but I did. I bought like, I don't know. I have a, I have a small box full and I use it so sparingly because I don't have it. And I refuse to buy 
Susan says, hey, there's a pizza box with a punch out with the punch out mustache. Maybe it was a pizza box. I don't know. It's awesome though. I love it. You're for, uh, yes, I'm for Clint. You're right. That's a good word, Susan. Um, it's a pizza box, Trish said. Trish, thank you so much. Um, anyway, back to my scrapbooking paper thing. I use it so sparingly, my scrapbook paper, because it's like, if you find, I refuse to spend, like, I can find a 12 by 12 paper pad that I really love, but then it's going to cost like $25 to ship it to me. And I just refuse to do it out of the principle of things. So, so I, I have, I have scrap of paper and I use it like little bits at a time, like almost like savoring it. It's like, you know, haven't you had like a box of chocolates that you got for Christmas or something and then you, and then you just you know, had one bit in pieces here and you just saved it. So that's the one thing that I've gotten that I haven't just jumped in and used, which I'm going to because it's really silly. But hence my obsession with junk them. So I want to show you guys this. Now I did already look at this and it made me cry. Okay, look at what she wrote on the front of it. It says, art washes from the soul the dust of everyday life. And she hand drew all of this. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, thanks, but, you know, because I, I, I feel like, I feel incredibly grateful that you're all in my life, that you're my crafty peeps, that you hang out with me, and, and this was just extra, but if you guys can look at it, this was a, an AARP magazine, I only know because through it, I went and saw, she actually painted and embossed on it, can you see it? So, I don't want to hear from one of you guys, please don't ugly cry, I'm sure I ugly cry, Susan, I'm sure I do. So, anyway, I want you guys to see this. Isn't this gorgeous? She painted all through it, and it's just gorgeous, and I can't wait to use it. Um, I'm going to do my own art journaling in it. I've flipped through it a few times already. It's just gorgeous. This is a washi tape page. Hi, Pam. So, and then look, on every, on a few pages, she put something that matched it, which I love it, this pink bag, and then like, look, isn't it gorgeous? And I loved it. This is by far, like, so above and beyond anything that, I don't know, you guys. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? She painted out the, these are images from the magazine itself, and so she did reverse collage, like where you paint it out. Trish says the cover's from Tattered Angels. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful, Trish. It's just gorgeous. I love all of it. I have to tell you, I was so moved. Now look at this page. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at that. She painted it out. So for all of you out there that are like wondering what you do with your magazine journals and your painting papers, you know, this is a perfect little awesome journal for me to use from for my stuff. Look, and then she had a bunch of doilies. Isn't that cool? Definitely going to put some of them in here. Every page is just a treat. So this was the part, it was obviously a breakfast cereal ad. Can you guys see it? And she painted over it and she used a stencil. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. This one I love. I love all of it. There's parts of these are magazine ads that are, are from catalogs that she cut out, and then the other part is just the page. It's just beautiful. Is this not perfect for me? Look at this. You cracking up the paint right now, Beth? How are you, Beth? Hi, Andrea. Isn't this great? It has my ridiculousness right on it, <laughs> which is so appropriate for me. So these are her painting papers. She left hers in the magazine, but you could go back and put yours in. And she made me this cool, like, bookmark from some bling, which everybody's got to have some bling. But 
all of these are just, it's just gorgeous, Trish. I am like overwhelmed, but so beautiful. Look at her faux finishes. Aren't they gorgeous? Just gorgeous. And then she stamped on some. Let me hold that up so you guys can see the texture. Now, she did a, an amazing job. Every page is just gorgeous. Every single page. She left parts of the magazine and then just gessoed and painted over the others. I love them. This is awesome. This is from an AARP magazine, which I don't get that magazine yet, but not for long. See, can you guys see? Look at the bottom. You can just see. Isn't it beautiful? It's so amazing. Like, look, so you can see the AARP. So any of you tell me I'm telling you a fib, you can see it. So I love this. So she obviously cut it off at one top on the top, and this has words in it. I already looked to it. It has words like, you know, from die cutting. But don't you love it? And then I love this. Who is T? <laughs> I don't know which page is my favorite, but they all are just beautiful. It is by far one of the most beautiful art journals that I've gotten. I love it. And I love that she left just regular pieces of the magazine in too, so you can just see it, right? See, and look here, she has one of those cards in here that I've taken out of all my other magazines. I'm like a ridiculous person. I love all of the pages. I love all of the pages. They're all gorgeous. Love this one. This I love all of them. So everyone take some inspiration from Trisha's creativity and cut yourself a magazine and go for it. You know, it's so beautiful. Vicki says, Trish, please make one of these for all the friends in the box. Guys, I just love this. This is gorgeous. So beautiful. Look at this. Don't you love it? You know me and my circle thing. Carla and I are not far off from each other in our circle in our circles. I know, she did a fabulous job. It's gorgeous. You guys, it's so gorgeous. And then this side, she put some of this fabric tape, like surgical tape, I guess it is like. Is that what it is, Trish? But I love it, and I love the fact that she painted on some of it, and it feels really cool. And then she made me some, um, like, little cards out of it. Look at the back side. Just gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful, you guys? Look, can you see her embossing? So for all of you formal scrapbookers out there, if this doesn't encourage you to make something beautiful, I can't tell you what will. I just love it, Trish. Thank you so much. I, I've looked through it. I got my mail. I guess it came late Saturday. And I looked through it. And I've looked through it every day since I've gotten it. It's on my coffee table. And I'm just, thank you, Trish. It touched my heart more than you know. And it's just gorgeous. So that was that was one of my happy mails that I got. And it, I did cry. I'm not going to say I pretty cried, but I cried. So here is my other happy mail that I got. And I can't wait to share it with you guys, too. What do you call it? Wait, like Dee Dee's? Yeah, she reverse collaged it, like Dee Dee's magazine things. She said it's the whole AARP magazine that she cut about four inches from the top. It's gorgeous. Okay, here's my second Happy Mail. Now, this Happy Mail I got from my friend... My friend, Carla, I want to show it to you. I got a package of fish bits, and if you guys haven't gone over to her channel, Caged Fish, and supported her, um, maybe I'll use these in my thing today, too. She has a couple of things that she is uh, has for, uh, for purchase, and one of them is a package of fish bits, and I'll open it up and show you what's in it. But... I got painty papers from Carla. So I want you guys, you guys, painty papers are my weakness, okay? So I don't know if she's going to do any more painty papers, but I want to show you the package that I got. I love them. I'm going to make them into my own, I'm going to put them into a journal for myself, 
okay? So these are the painting papers that I got from Carla, and they're gorgeous. They're prettier in person than they are here, than you can see on the camera. I love this. This is one of my favorites. Look, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous. And hers have texture on. This one looks like she did some tissue paper on it. And she also uses junk mail too, so it's beautiful, Carla. I love them all. Thank you so much. They're gorgeous. So go on out, head on over to Caged Fish on YouTube. I don't know if she's going to have any more uh, painting papers available, but if you're a collage artist and you like to use other, you know, it's like having handmade scrapbooking paper, right? This is gorgeous. Beautiful. Hi, Mitzi. So anyway, I love this. Oh, this is my color palette. Love it. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So head on over to Car. She streams every Tuesday and Sunday. She streams at 2 p.m. Eastern time, which is a different time for me. So these are all gorgeous, Carla. Oh, I love this. Is this one with your new concentric triangle stamp? Love it. She also has a stamp video, you guys. Go on over and check it out. She's selling a stamp video on how to make your own stamps. Carla, these are gorgeous. These are just gorgeous papers. I love them. So she's selling um, how to make your own. Look, you guys, I wanted an alphabet set, and Carla and I were discussing it, I don't know, a month ago, right? And she found one for me. Maybe I'll use these today. These are called Silly Winks. Awesome. Love them. And let me look at my other, my other painty papers. So you guys head on over. If you can get anything handmade from somebody you love, especially supporting an artist on YouTube, I encourage you to. Remember last week we were talking about Shannon Green and her custom keepers? Oh, I love this one. Gorgeous, Carla. These are beautiful. So are you going to do more painting papers or is this it? <laughs> why are you in the... Why, what are you guys talking about? Why does Chuck have to behave? What happened to Chuck? Carla, these are beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love this. Can you guys see? I don't know how good my... I like to look on the back because some of the texture of them reminds me, like, you don't know if it's a book page. I like it because I use junk mail and stuff. You know, you guys know me. Now it really makes me have to get the, um, oh my gosh, I love this. This is the screen thing. Love it, love it, love it. Carla, what is the the paint that we, ink of gold. I don't have any, you guys. I'm going to have to definitely get that off of the internet. Love this. Gorgeous. Oh, I love these. These are so beautiful. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I don't know which one I like better. Okay, now I've got a lot of stuff to make stuff with you guys. i got to get on the ball. I've been so distracted with my life. Can I just tell you, my life has been one big distraction lately. And, you know, doesn't my life know that I need to be putting my energy into making art? <laughs> oh my gosh Carla I love everything that you sent me thank you so much I'm going to use my fish bits today okay I'm definitely going to use those in my collage making efforts I'm going to use the handmade gelatos that oh my gosh you guys you want to see what else she sent me all right so now you guys really have to go I'm going to use these today too you have to go over and get her video on how to make her stamps. She sent me a set of her stamps. Okay, guys, you've got to go over and make them. Maybe we can use them today. I don't know if I have my stamp pad out. I'll have to find some stamping ink. And I should mount, Carla, I should mount these on a big, thicker piece of foam, yes? Is that what I should do? Or should I mount them on cardboard? I'm a brat? How am I a brat? 
So in her video that you get, and for right now it's an introductory price, and I haven't seen the video, but I know Carla well enough to know that I'm sure it has amazing content. It's an introductory price of, I don't know, $5, I think, for a little while. And she shows you how to make all of these stamps yourself, for yourself. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, I'm going to use these today, too. All right, let me get my postcards out, get my postcards going. I'm a brat. Okay. It is very cool, Happy Mail. Oh, I can put these on an acrylic block, peel off the tape. Oh, that's a great idea. Guys, my space is like a worse mess than it was before I before I redid it because it's just how my life rolls these days. It's just when I get my life and the way I want it, it blows up and it changes everything. Okay, so get out your whatever you're going to make your postcards with. You can make it with anything. I'm going to cut these up and make it with the this junk mail. Um, I might even make a few book page ones too. Just got to make sure they're not racy book pages. Oh, guys, I threw my shoulder out and I'm telling you it is seriously not good. I do not know what I did to myself, but I did it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to gesso my cards. So I'm going to get a few of them going. How much is a postcard stamp now, you guys? The first class stamp is 49 cents. What What is a postcard stamp? Does anybody know? Yeah, I have this Versa. I have this Versa Magic, but I'm not crazy about Versa Magic. You guys know my story of my stamping ink. I got all these ink pads from a friend who was moving off the island. And she was like a party planner. <clears throat> and so... She must have had some big sales before I came in contact with her. And, or before she thought of me, you know, because we have to see each other all the time. And so finally when we saw each other, she, um, she said, oh, I have all this stuff. And she brought it, she just brought it over to my house, which I was grateful for. But they're all colors and things that I would not necessarily have bought, which is always great because it, it gives you something you would never... You wouldn't necessarily do. Some of these have some sort of um, adhesive on it. So the only reason why I'm going to do a bunch at a time is it's, this one's got some weird glue on it. I don't know if I can get it all off. Um, it's, it's always been easier for me to prime a bunch of stuff as I'm doing it. Thank you guys for this, the most generous Happy Mail. I have to tell you, I'm a little, um, as Susan put it, a clint. That's a perfect word. For how the overwhelm I'm feeling. So, guys, it's got weird glue bits on it. I moved the alphabet. No, yeah, no, I have, I have this stamp. You know what? I have stamp pads that I love, but guys, they're all in. Everything's just piled back into my living room in a corner because my daughter moved all her. She wanted. Like, and the stupid thing was that we had had this conversation before I even moved my craft room. I said, what are the chances of you wanting this room back? Because it sat vacant. Okay, can I just be honest with you? It sat after my oldest daughter left with her husband to Japan, and now they're in China. The room sat empty. Completely empty, guys. And I even mentioned to her, like, several times, I'm like, okay, are you want to move out of the, the little house? It's too, really too small for me to put any crafting stuff in and move around. It's really only big enough for like a twin bed. And it has like a small closet and a built-in dresser in there. So that's really all, it's really small. Like I can't, it's not enough for my, I'd have to, I could move in there, but then I'd have to put all my stuff out in the garage. And anyway, I'm going to ask her though. I'm not going to work with this one because this one's got too much smoky on it. I'll leave it for another day. So, anyway, I asked her before I even messed with anything. I said, "What is the chances? Are you going to want this big room? Are you still good with where you're? You know." But I guess what happened was they changed the dorm situation, or whoever was however their dorming thing worked, and she wasn't happy with the roommates that she got, or I don't quite know how it worked. So I just, you know what, you guys, I just got to stay out of it. Gotta stay out of it. I wish she'd said something to me before I moved all my stuff. So, 
Now I just have to move it all back. And I haven't had the energy. And since I threw my shoulder out, I haven't really, honestly, more than the energy, I haven't um, I've been in too much pain to do it. Too much pain. Okay. I'm going to paint all these. These are going to be my postcards. I'm going to paint it all. You can choose painting it with either gesso or paint it with, or paint it with, um, that cheap, cheap, cheap acrylic paint. I'll show you guys my fish bits in a little bit because we'll use them for the collaging. I'm also going to do some of these. I think I'm going to work on some of these. Uh, work on some of these little. I love these. How many of you guys like, um, how many of you guys ever use These Project Life cards, I like them. I use them as journaling spots in my, especially if I paint up a whole journal, I use them as journaling spots. Okay, I need to grab, I have a brush I really like to dry brush with, but of course I don't have it here. This one's not bristling enough. I guess maybe I'll just do the credit card. Let me just grab my gesso, it's right here. Yeah, if you guys are interested in Carla's videos, email her. I mean, in, interested in what she has got going on, email her at cagedfish at yahoo.com, caged with a K. And I'll also put a, a link in the description box at the end of the video to where you can go and um, see her channel and, and hang out with her, you know, because she does great live streams, super fun, and I think everybody, you'll get a lot out of it. I think I'm also going to do a couple of um, book pages, too. For my postcards for my postcards so tell me about your week you guys I've had um, a better week than I had the week before you guys know my week a few like my week last week was like beyond ridiculous I can't even tell you this week has been better um what hasn't been better is that I threw up my shoulder and can I tell you I don't know how and what I did to it all I can figure is when I messed with all those bananas oh my god I can't, in it, uh, anyway, one of you guys suggested that maybe I tore my rotator cuff, which I hope I didn't. Susan says she's buffering. Is, does that come from my end? It might be for my power outage. You guys, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'm like, is anybody else buffering? I don't know what I can do about it. I mean, I have... I shut everything down. There's nothing running on my computer. <laughs> Am I drinking? No. Um, yes, I'm having some coffee. And <laughs> guys, I don't drink. I'm boring. I am like one of the most boring people ever. I don't drink. I mean, I don't have a thing against anybody that drinks. Do whatever you want to do for you. I just don't drink. Hey, Kathy, you're buffering too, Renee? Oh, no. And you're buffering too. Okay. I don't know. What do I do, you guys? You're buffering too? Everybody's buffering. Okay, guys, I don't know what to do. Is it really bad? I mean, if it's really bad, I can postpone my stream until tomorrow. I don't know what else to do because... I have no control over the outage on the end of the island. It's YouTube? Okay. Because I was going to say, I haven't done anything. I don't have anything running in my house. I rebooted my computer before I started. Because I have really hurt my shoulder. I, can, I cannot even tell you. It's so bad. Uh you don't realize, like, when one of your... I'm going to paint it. I'm not going to get up and get the gesso. I'm just going to paint it with that cheap acrylic paint. Um, I think you don't... I, I didn't realize. I can't speak for anyone else. I didn't realize, like, how poorly, like, one side of my body is just in such pain that the other side is... Mm, not good. Anyway. If it buffers too much, you guys, I can always do another stream another day. I don't want to make you like if it's that way for everyone. That's ridiculous. It's like, 
Yeah, I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to get on because of... But my neighbor that usually is like the gaming person isn't here. So there, there's nothing going on. Nobody's watching anything in my house and on it. It's gone totally, Bridgeline. Oh, no. You guys, I don't know what to do. Did anybody catch Lizzie's birthday bash? Pink Poodle Crafters had a birthday bash for Lizzie yesterday, and it was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm just using super cheap craft paint, and I'm and I'm I may not try to cover up everything, but I'm gonna do one side. We'll work on one side. Maybe I'll do four postcards. It's probably probably the most I can get done anyway. Do post four postcards. I'm gonna do this side because the other side I can put some paper on. I can put some of my painting papers. Anyway, Lizzie did her birthday bash. Elizabeth Brewer for all of you that. Um, are tuning in and don't know Lizzie. Scrap and Lizzie. She's awesome. And she's doing her birth. She did her birthday bash yesterday with uh, Stacey Evans, Pink Poodle Crafter, who I love her too. And it was awesome. They Liz, Lizzie made a little journal. I didn't get to watch all of it, um, but I watched part of it. Lizzie made a little journal, and Stacy made all kinds of stuff, and she had um, Secret on there, Secret Sota, who I love her too. If you guys haven't checked out her channel, you should. She made these really cool sort of Halloween charms with skeletons and cats. They were cool, and like with tassels. So you guys know my love for tassels. So if you get some really super shiny junk mail, Go ahead and sand that with lightweight sandpaper. Hi, Sass. Welcome. We're happy to see you. Happy you are here. Okay, so for me, this is how I begin my, my journey of postcard extravaganza, which you guys do it any way you want, but this is what works for me. So I just lay down a base coat of anything. It doesn't have to be this beigey white color, but most people have some sort of gesso or a plain beige paper. And I don't attempt to cover up every single thing. Some people do. I don't necessarily. Um, you know, I don't necessarily. Both sides will end up being covered. Some of it may be covered with paper because if I write on it and actually mail it, um, you know, I don't want... I don't want somebody's face on it or whatever. So I think that's enough for me. I've got like five going on. All right. So, but I usually like to use a bunch of multiples at one time because then, you know, if I don't like one, inevitably, if I'm making a bunch at one time, something will come out and I'll like it better. Does that make, do you, does everyone understand what I, what I mean? Like some I'll like more than others. Hi, Amberly. Happy to see you. Okay, let me decide what am I going to do next. I think I need some. I think I need some sort of collage bits on here. Maybe I'll put some color too. Let's see. This maybe I'll use this collage bit because I like. I like. How many of you guys make a big deal out of um, Halloween? Are there people that make a big deal out of Halloween? Here, where I am, Halloween is like largely celebrated. I mean, largely, largely celebrated. So, there's some other painting papers I may use. So, it, it's like a big deal with the costume thing and everything. How many of you guys do that where you are? I mean, this is like a, people come from all over the world to have some sort of a Halloween experience here. Okay, so I have a 
couple of, I don't know if I'm going to use both of them, but I'm going to use one of them. Maybe this one will go on that. Anyway, people come from all over to have a Halloween experience here. And the costumes are wild. I mean, not appropriate for kids. I think Maui is considered, um, if you look at one of those, like, destinations for Halloween or whatever, Maui's considered one of the one of the uh, premier places to have Halloween. Okay, I like the bird, and I like some of the green. I may not use all of it. So, anyway, people are, they're getting their groove on. They are so getting their groove on already. I mean, it's been, they closed down a street in a little town over from me. And people just come from all over to, let me see how this is going to look. People come from all over to, to have Halloween here. It's ridiculous, but they do. And they go for it. And it's not so PC, you know what I mean? It's like, we'll be naked people running around. So, But it's definitely one for if you are into that type of thing, dressing up or whatever, this is one of the places to come. Can't get decent scrap of paper here, but you can... <laughs> but you can dress up for Halloween. People make their costumes, you guys. are so elaborate. Like, I have friends that are so into it. They make their costumes. I mean, they plan for the whole year. It's ridiculous. So they do have trick-or-treating for kids, but you have to go early, or you have to go until they... All the businesses have trick-or-treating, which is kind of good, too. You know, they have... Um, trick-or-treating and it's pretty that that part's pretty cool so guys I'm not into that into it I'm you know into dressing up or whatever but here it's a big deal it is a really big deal That's part of my postcard. Let me get some some wipes. Your grandson wears costume tonight. Wait, Joyce says when her kids are small. This is like adult. This is like adult Halloween, Joyce. It's not like for the faint of heart. It's not like they do have a minor kids parade, but it's not. It's like serious. Like it's a serious. Seriousness. It's a seriousness. It's serious. Can you guys hear the rain? We needed the rain so bad, but it is loud. We needed the rain badly, but it's raining all over the island, so it's knocked everyone's the whole island um, out. This stencil is a Tim Holtz stencil, and you guys, I got it. Somebody sent it. To, a friend of mine sent it to me a couple weeks ago. The thing with it is, it's really thin, so the bits inside thin. But I'm trying to use it to the best of my. I don't know the name of it. It's called. I don't know. It says Stampers Anonymous.com. Tim Holtz. So, I think I need more, I think I need a little bit more um, paint on this side, just a tiny bit. Then I'm going to glue my, I'm going to glue my bird down. So I love making these postcards from those magazine inserts. How many of you guys do that? How many of you guys collect those magazine inserts and make and make um, and make stuff with it? I dig doing that. 
I sure dig it. I'm going to look for my panty paper book and see if I have a panty paper that I think would be good on there. I like I like the magazine insert thing a lot. Um, like this one. This one might be good. I like the magazine insert thing a lot. The because they're small and you can send some really cool. You can send some really cool. Some really cool stuff. I might like this better. You can send some really cool, um, you can make a bunch of really cool little art postcards. Which one of you guys was talking about ATCs the other day? I had, we were having a, I was having a conversation with one of you guys about ATCs. Which one of you was it? Can you remember? One of you guys talked to me about ATCs and I was telling you that I, um, that I make art postcards, which is similar to ATCs, except they're just a bigger canvas to work on. Because the canvas, you know, the canvas for a for an art post for, is two and a half by three and a half. Can I zoom in? I can try. Hang on, because I haven't I, I haven't had the best I haven't had the best luck with the zooming thing. Okay. But I can try. Hang on, let me see. All right, let me see. It's gonna, I know it's gonna jump a little bit, so just, if you guys can just bear with me because of the autofocus thing. All right, let's see. Is that, let's see, is that better or no? You like to ATC, Vicki? Oh, that's awesome. Mary Kay says she has a funny story because she gave toys and stickers and she got told it's Halloween you're supposed to give candy. She said no. You were told that by a five-year-old? Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Yeah, it's... If it starts jumping around, it could just suddenly become unautofocused, you guys, and I have no control over it. It's like, I, I ordered a new camera, they sent me the wrong one, and I haven't, honestly, because of what I've been going through, I haven't had a chance to, like, work on it and deal with the, the auto, deal with the, is that better? I haven't really had a chance to send, I sent back the camera, they sent me the wrong one, then they sent me, anyway, I haven't, I need a new camera, I need one where the auto, because what happens with this one is the autofocus works for just a little bit, and then the next thing you know, it goes crazy, and then their autofocus is gone, so, I don't know, I need to work on, I need to, I need an, I, I ordered a new one, but it, guys, it's always something, I ordered a new camera, and I'm, um, then I was told that it was it had the same problem. Then they did a recall. So I need to up the ante and get a really much more expensive camera. And I just haven't jumped in. I haven't jumped in and bitten the bullet and done that. So. The idea with my, at least in my world, of making one of these sort of junk mail postcards is that you can do, there's no right or wrong, it's just a small piece of art and you can, you know, you can make it any way you want. It doesn't have to be, there's no rules to it and it's not like a huge canvas investment. so. If you like wanted to try out something or try out a technique that you saw somewhere or you know you can doing it on this type of thing there really is very little investment except your creativity and your paint you know if you're if you if you dive into the paint thing your paint what are you talking about Joyce I'm missing the combo 
Your husband was where? What are you thumbs up in? Anyway, maybe thumbs up and I'm missing the whole thing. Okay, so this is the beginning. I don't know. I want to put something under the back of it. I don't know if this is this is too much for me. Let me try the light blue one. I think the blue one might be better. I just want a little border around it. I don't want the whole. And then I'm going to use my gelatos. What are you talking about, Joyce? I'm missing the, I, I missed the whole thing. I don't, I didn't, I don't, I don't, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. Maybe this one is better. Maybe this one. I wanted a newspaper one because some of these papers are, are thicker than I want. So... This is better. Because they're always wanting to know what you do with your painty papers. So here it is. I gotta sit with it for a little bit. Let's see if I like it. The zoom is good. Oh, good. Hey, Fiona, how are you? Oh, we've missed you. We have missed, missed, missed you. Tell us how your mom is. Tell us what's going on with you. We have really all missed you. I have missed you, and I know all the girls have. We've been thinking about you every week. And want to send you some love and want to know what's going on with you. I'm going to grab my glue stick, you guys. I cleaned it. This is what I get for cleaning off my desk. I'm like totally a spaz. I get cleaned off my desk. Oh, scroll back. Uh, you're talking about Rye on Halloween? Okay, I'll look at it later. Rye on Halloween. Now, Halloween. I love Halloween in some ways, but some ways, you guys, it's just gotten a little, I mean, it's like everything in America. We just kind of go for the commercialism, and we got to go in such an extreme way that we can't, you know, at least here. I'm not saying you do that in any other country, but here, we like, we have issues. We have issues with, like, taking things too far, and it becomes so commercialized that we miss out on the whole point of having a good time and having fun. Let me grab my glue stick. We miss out on having fun. We miss out on, you know, all the all the things that that it was meant to be initially, and not. I don't know. At least that's what I think. Maybe you guys have have a totally different opinion, but that is my. Guess this is what I get from moving my stuff back and forth. My one of my kids, my older daughter, the one I told you that's in China. I was telling her every time she calls me, she goes, what are you doing? And inevitably, I'm moving my craft stuff, okay? So what did she tell me the other day? She was like, she said that she thinks I should go to the gym and exercise as opposed to, like, moving my stuff around. And she said to me, she was so funny. She was like, She said, why don't you go to the gym, Mom? It would be better than moving your stuff around. Which I was just like, seriously? 
Do you know what? Sadly, I understood exactly what she meant. Sadly, I got it. Sadly, I totally understood. I completely understood. All right, I'm going to let this one dry. And then I'm going to work on it a little bit more. I'm going to go for the next one. Go for the next one. I'm going to use some of Carla's fish bits. Hi, Sarita. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you guys look a little puppy. You're awesome. Oh, you guys, I had to find, <laughs> I finally took Charlie to have her... Or, oh, maybe a flamenco would go good on there. I finally took Charlie and had her nails clipped. Because you guys know she was rescued, right? And she doesn't like you to touch it. Anyway, I took her, we took her and had her nails clipped. I tried to clip them for her a few times and she freaked out. Oh, I love this. I love the envelope. This is fish bits. And I love all the bits and pieces in it. Um. So she, I took her to have her nails clipped and... You guys, she was, I warned the lady, I just said, oh, I love the lottery ticket. Okay, I gotta use that. Um, I warned the lady where I took her. I said, you have to, you know, be super gentle with her because she's been abused. And, and the lady was very sweet with her. Ooh, and a puzzle piece? Oh my gosh. So, she, um... Guys, every single time they went to cut her nail, she howled like they were hurting her to no end. It was so ridiculous. We all had to laugh. We were outside. We were just, you know, we, could, we were all there with her. And she was just like, it was ridiculous. So she finally got her nails clipped. And then I, I told the lady, I'll bring her back and have her groomed. She doesn't really need to be groomed, but she definitely needs to be handled by more than me. Oh, I love this too. Oh, I don't think I have any red. Oh, I love that. Okay, I'm having my red moment here. Um, maybe this will go good in my collage. So, anyway, that was the Charlie incident. The Charlie, the Charlie extravaganza. I know what I'm going to do. Carla, I love these fish bits. I'm going to have to look through them each carefully, but I've made a nice mess on my desk because you guys know me. I can't work clean. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about myself. I can start out with the best of intentions, but I just can't work clean. It doesn't matter. I just can't do it. So I finally, so it was hilarious. We took her yesterday to get her nails clipped. Because they, her feet, you know, when she thinks she was really malnourished. So when we... When we finally, when we, when we got her, you know, she's finally gaining weight. We've had her for about, I don't know, maybe eight months, six, eight months. I don't know how long we've had her. Anyway, she's sweet. But she was like, every single time the lady brought the nail clippers to her nails, she howled. You guys would have laughed. I didn't want to traumatize her any more than she was traumatized. I, I can't imagine what she's been through. So, okay, I added a little gold to my, to my thousand dollar, I think I'll cut it, y'all, to my thousand dollar, to my thousand dollar, let's see, let's see if I'm liking that composition. Guys, who struggles over their their composition? Certainly, I can't be the only one, but I maybe I have to live with my composition. Sometimes things come together super fast, and then other times they just they take me a while. Does that work? Does that how it works for everybody else too? I don't have any red. I do, but not the color I want. I did get some cool red paint. Not too long ago. Out of the clearance bin. This was it. It's actually leather paint. 
and it's called Leather and Vinyl, and it actually works good. It's kind of an odd shade of red, but I like it. Let me see if it matches anything I got going on here. I'm not going to lose the frog I saw him. He's right here, right? No, I'm not going to lose him. Maybe I'll put him in this red one. Carla, I don't lose anything, and I don't get rid of anything. That's the thing. is on my desk. It's like my kids are, like, laughing at me because I cleaned up my little space. It's the tiniest space. You saw that box that Patricia sent me pretty much took up the whole, pretty much took up the whole space. Um, so I won't lose it. And I make sure that I gather everything before I do anything. I will not lose it. I just don't know what I want. Maybe I'll use the same stencil. I kind of like this stencil, but it's not. I wish it was heavier duty plastic, you guys. I really do. Maybe I'll do it this Maybe I'll do it the whole way. Maybe I'll do it the whole long way. I'm using dried out diaper wipes, you guys, because I've managed to put my sponges where I can't find them. Please. When I finally get my craft space unpacked again and reorganized, I'll probably have to, we'll be moving to the new house. I mean, I'm making that joke, but seriously, it's ridiculous. So, did you guys see the, who was it that did a, a craft room tour recently? And I was just, I have to tell you, I was in such craft room envy. I was like, I want that craft room. Did any of you guys go over to Barb Owen's channel on how to get creative and go look at her craft room, her craft room uh, tour? It's like, she has a beautiful craft room. What's easy or agonizing, moving or interesting to watch somebody else use fish bits? I love her fish bits. I have my own version, Carla. <laughs> it just is a mess. It's, a, it's in a one of my magazine accordion files. Ooh, I'm liking the red. This is a weird paint, though. I don't. I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't on clearance. I think it was on sale. The clearance price at three ninety nine, but it was seventy five percent off of the three ninety nine. Plus, if you go to our craft store during their have a, like a ha craft happy hour, you guys. But you can only buy stuff on clearance because everything else is so expensive. It was normally like I don't know six or eight dollars for a little bottle of paint. But um. Okay, I'm liking the red. I'm so liking the red. Okay. All because Carla gave me red, so let me just clean this off and then I'll go to the next one. So I paid whatever. What would be set what would be seventy five percent off of three dollars and ninety nine cents? That's why I tried it, because it's seventy five percent off of that. I would not have bought it otherwise. You guys, I do take my stencils and give them a big soapy bath afterwards. Does anybody else do it? Soak their stencils in like some, I usually soak them in some Dawn dishwashing soap and that's what I usually do. Soak them and then I have a, like a, a baby's bottle brush, like a, a soft one and I usually scrub them. It doesn't always, everything doesn't always come off, but it always gets anything out that's going to keep you from stenciling in the future. At least that's what I do. Maybe you guys have a better way of cleaning them. I usually only use acrylic paint with mine. I don't, I don't really use stamping ink with it. Okay, so I'm going to move my Okay, I'm liking this red though. Let's see. And then Carla has some given sent me some red bits. So let's see. Some red bits. I love this red Chinese gold thing. Love that. Love it. Love the red Chinese gold. I like the beigey paper too. 
needs to dry though before I sit anything on it. And what else I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do some gold on top too. You know that deck, uh, this cheap acrylic craft paint comes in metallic. It's it's more than 50 cents a thing in metallic. I don't remember what it is. It's probably a dollar. But it's not bad. And folk art acrylic uh, metallic paint. They have like four shades of gold. At least at my big box craft store they have four shades of gold. They may have many more. Uh, somebody was showing me all their paint samples the other day and they had like way more and it's the same brand so I think ours just gets in whatever. But I guess it's the holidays and that's why there was more gold paint than normal. How did you break your Sizzix? How did you break your Sizzix, Mary Kay? I missed that whole thing. You broke your Sizzix machine? So how many of you guys are making along? How many of you guys are either painting something or drawing something or... How many of you guys are, are schmushing along with me? You're schmutzing along with me. I hope a few of you are. Trish says, she has an art commitment anxiety. <laughs> so you have, I have an art commitment anxiety too. George, Grace, hi Grace. She said she's had a $20 die cutter on creating craft today. Not big. No, I can't. You look on YouTube and see which die cutting machines. I will tell you, the best one I've had the best luck with is a Sizzix Big Shot. They make it in an electric form too. Scotty bought one, but they have a new original one or one they're selling in, in England now. I guess that's where the company is. I don't know. That is electric. I think that's um, not a Tim Holtz brand, but it works good. That's the only one that I've really worked with. Okay, Trish says that she has an art commitment anxiety, so she's making the cover for a junk journal signature, so you can take them out. Trish, you know what? I can relate to that. You were cutting with it and it just broke? You know what? If it's a big shot, they'll replace it for you. They will replace it for you. If you contact them, they do. They really are really good about replacing your stuff. Renee says she's painting. Oh, good. Best making painting papers and CJ's harvesting a book and magazine. Awesome. Who missed lunch? You can't, you, you're working, but then your hubby's talking to you too, Vicki. No, what is that? Isn't that always the way? Mary Kay, if you contact them, they will replace it. I can guarantee you they will. Georgia says, Sandy Parker from Crafting for Almost Everyone. Had a tour of her room. Oh, is it awesome, Georgia? I haven't seen her. Bridgeline says she's schmutz, schmutzing along with me. <laughs> Good for you, Bridgeline. I like my big shot too. I do too, Malia. And Susan's tearing color out of magazines. Awesome. Good for you. Okay. So I have this one going on, and okay, I like the gold. I guess I'm doing sort of an Asian theme without knowing it, although I do like this stencil. I just wish it, you guys, it's not going to last the way I like to use things. You know how some people use things and they're just like all easy and good with it? Me, I, I like using them. Okay, let me just see if I can find some, some ink around here and I can use some stamping. Okay, so I have I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some of this Chinese paper on here. I'm gonna do some Chinese paper. I also like this too. Hmm. Let's see if I like my layering going on. The frog's not gonna get away, Carla. I won't lose him. So I might go good on that one. Oh, I like this with the hand. That was good too. I like this one. This one's got like some layering bit. It needs a focal point, this one. Uh, guys, can I tell you? I'm so ready for my paperwork extravaganza to be over. 
I have a few more things to get in the mail to submit and then my paperwork is pretty much I think on Friday my paperwork will be done unless I'm asked for some other paperwork and I'm just I'm ready guys I'm like so ready for my paperwork to be over feels like that is all I've done it's been obsessed oh I love this green one all I've done is been obsessed with paperwork oh, this is a cool focal point too but I'm hoping soon that my paperwork is just really done because it has been it's been too much it has been too much I am ready for it to be over Ooh, this one has like a scrapbooking thing to it. I like that one too. You guys, I'm so not up on the newest scrapbooking stuff. Can you guys tell me like what's the newest, bestest, coolest scrapbooking stuff that's out right now? I'm like not on it. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I'm like the last one to know, I think. I think I'm the last one to to know about the scrapbooking extravaganza. Then I like the puzzle pieces in your frog. Do you have a die this small for your, for, for is this, this, is this a die that you have to, Carla, that's the tiniest die ever. Just looking to see if I found something else I wanted to add to my, to my leg. Oh, look at this, this is so funny. Instant oatmeal hockey puck. Mouthwash. These are so funny. This is a pink one too. I'm not up on the latest, greatest scrapbooking anything, you guys. So it's like, you really like the Arabic text too. I'm not up on the latest, greatest of anything. So I kind of just can only go with like what I have, which is, you know, I'm in the middle of the ocean, you guys. It's not much. Fish bits and painty papers. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Fish bits and painty papers. Guys, I'm obsessed with painty papers. I love painty papers. I love all kinds of painty papers. And I really like painty papers that make, other people make because they're going to always be different than mine. Okay, let me see. I was going to do some spraying on one of these, but let's see what color. It looks like an orangey spray. I'm not going to keep Damien John's success formula on, on the other side. I won't keep it. But I, um, and then I'm also going to use those gelato, those little gelato things that I got from, uh, that I got from Trish. I'm going to use those too. Okay. Might do a little spray on here. My favorite one are these Mardi, the color, they're Lindy's Stamp Gang, but they're the Mardi Gras colors. The other colors, I'm not crazy about. It's not that, it, at least they don't work good with my color palette. They could probably be fine with somebody else's color palette, but with my color palette, they don't, they're not the best. Things I like to use are not the best. So I have these three going on. Let me just, I gotta get my composition down over here. My, my Chinese, my Chinese paper, which I like. Like the Chinese paper. And then I liked this. This, um, That other paper in it, I like that too. I don't know what my focal point was going to be on here. I don't know. Ugh. 
Right. I like the red Chinese paper. I like this paper. They all need to dry. They're like a little wonky right now. They're no drying. They're not drying because I spray them with stuff. So I can't leave them alone, you guys. I gotta mess with it. I gotta fuss with it. Gotta mess and futz. That is just how that's how it rolls in my world. What are you guys writing? I would love some painting papers, Vicky. Send me some painting papers. I love it. I'm still making tags for all you guys. I just haven't you guys I haven't worked on them in a while. So I was moving my my because I had my crazy company. And you guys, no matter the best intention of your company, it is not how many of you guys have had company and then you go, why did I say they could come? Does anybody have that? Is that just me? Am I, am, is it exclusive to me? Is it exclusive to, to moi? I was like, oh, like my company, she was great, but you know what? She kind of did me in. Not going to lie. She kind of did me in. She did me in. Because I didn't, I wasn't, if you guys, if you, if you are like, if you function in a way where you like, see the problem with me is all the edges are too square for my taste, but I'm trying to go with it. If you guys function in the way like I do, which is like haphazard and constantly changing, <laughs> having throwing somebody into the mix of your life all of a sudden just, it just didn't, wasn't quite the best for me. She was great. She wasn't a terrible company, but it was like one of those things where I was like, well, It was one of those things where I was kind of like going, well, you know, and every day became more and more. So I have my, I have a whole bunch of my tags. I wanted to make envelopes for everybody that, to go with them, and I haven't gotten half of it out. Half of them, half of them made, not all of them. Okay, I like the bird. I like this. I like this little extra bit. I like the money, but. Hmm. Let's have a moment. Hang on, I just gonna stay here for a second. Your brother was exhausting, Trish. <laughs> you know what? Hadi said to me, he goes, I think he goes, I think that you should just say, goes, um, whenever you're thinking about having company, just say, remember the last time and walk away. But I, I never do. Scotty says she has a big crush on Jay and Davenport supplies. Yeah, you know what? Thank God there's no real craft store here, you guys. I probably would have way too much stuff. What did Sherry say, Julian? Mary Kay says, her Tuesday morning stocks on Mondays and has their best sales on Fridays. That sounds good. Susan says, her company's, her welcome mat says, no company, my welcome mat says, leave. <laughs> oh, Susan. I'm like, you know, I get it. You guys, I get it. I get it. It just kind of put me in a, you know, like when you're used to being by your, you guys, I enjoy being by myself. How many of you guys, not that I get to do it a lot, but I enjoy being by myself. How many of you guys have that same experience? Where you really just enjoy your own company. Like you enjoy your zen, you enjoy your home, you enjoy your things, right? Mrs. says so she loves her mat. Brudeline says she wants a non-welcome mat, too. Can I just tell you, like, I like having people over, Fiona, but my company stayed 14 days. And I live in a tourist area. Hi, Sean! Sean, we haven't talked about anything inappropriate. We were just waiting on you. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding, Sean. We were just waiting on you, Sean. How's your furniture coming, Sean? What are you doing with your furniture? You were starting to tell us last week when we started talking about the ugliest Christmas presents ever. And then we all started laughing and then nobody, we, we didn't talk about the ugliest Christmas presents or anything else later on. 
Med den drak hver den er ved. Carla says she likes being by herself. I like being by myself too. Scotty says she loves her mother. Aw, you know what? But spending two almost two weeks with her killed you. Almost killed you. I can relate. I like having people over. It's just you guys. I live so isolated. <laughs> Renee says she is a Halloween mat all year round that says "Ho away." <laughs> I love that. I like being by myself too. Hi, Kayla. We're happy to see you, and I'm sorry if I didn't see you earlier. I liked it better when it said "ho away." <laughs> Mary Kay says her friends tell her that they're coming, and she cleans them a space, and they come and crap. Oh, that's nice, Mary Kay. I like my own company too. I love my own company, Bridgeline. In fact, it's like if my whole family hasn't like given me a few minutes every day up by myself, I'm kind of like ready for them to go off, especially if it's their day off. They just kind of want to smother and hover. I'm like, uh, you guys can go now. I haven't seen Lizzie tonight, but she might be pooped, bet. She was up last night. I was saying she was up at Aunt Stacy's Pink Poodle Crafters tonight. Oh, my God, the pickle dish. That was the best ever. ever. I've laughed so hard all week. Thank you, BJ, for the pickle dish. We love that story. Fiona, that's awesome. You're going with the flow. It's the only way you can have it. Malia says if she had family over, that would craft she would she would have more more over so i think lizzie but i think lizzie stayed up way too late last night okay i think she did because she was uh you're lurking and making tags awesome lizzie was up really late last night doing her okay guys i'm not liking the composition i gotta let it go i'm like having my own moment here lizzie was up really late last night doing her birthday celebration with Pink Poodle Crafter and all the people that hang out there, which is fun. And I got to watch for a little bit. I didn't get to stay the whole time. Um, so I didn't. All right. I got a couple backgrounds going on that I'm not, uh, that I like. Okay. And then maybe I'm going to use this one for part of it. One of my painting papers for part of it. Um, I think she might've stayed up too late, which I can relate. You know, I do that all the time. How many of you guys stay up too late? I, I stay up too late all the time. It's just kind of my MO. I stay up and I do my own thing. And and then I just stay up and I do my own thing. How many of you guys stay up too late? I'm just going to start gluing some stuff down. I'm looking at too much. You, bought, you brought your earphones to your mom's hospital room. How is your mom, Renee? I'm so sorry. You know, it's like... You know, just know that the changes that are going on for all of us, it's just really for you to stand in your power, all of us, especially when it comes to dealing with people that are sick and ill and things that are just feeling like a lot out of your control, because it is. It's just for all of us to just stand in our power and to stand firm with who we are. That's really what it's about. All right, I'm just going to start gluing some stuff down because I'm like overthinking this and I'm making myself crazy. And that's not me. I don't, it's at least not in crafting. I don't overthink it. Maybe in my life I do, but not in crafting. Um, so, you know, it's good that you like your own company. Like Trish says, yes, it's, it's, it's when people love us and they want to hang around with us. It's annoying. Yes, it is Trish sometimes. I need my downtime, you guys. Even the dog, man. It's like the dog wants to be mommy. You know why she's not in here crying right now? Because I made her stay with my daughter. Okay, you guys want to hear the most ridiculous thing ever? This is like so ridiculous. This is my day. Sean, we're waiting for you to pipe in. Pipe in anytime. So the electricity went off in the whole island, right? And so I go to take my daughter to school because I'm assuming that they have backup generators. And they're kind of a stickler here for school and different things. I mean, even the school's not great. So I drive her all the way over there, and school's canceled because they have no electricity. Now, needless to say, like, I had been trying to call since before I left to go to school, before I left to take her to school. 
Anyway, I get over there, and there's no electricity, and they cancel school. And she was supposed to have a parent-teacher conference today. So I was like, okay, she's going to have a parent-teacher conference. I'm liking this. I'm going to just glue it down. Um, she's supposed to have a parent-teacher conference, and so... I call I I called when I got back home I called I spent like a huge portion of the day trying to reach the her teacher that she was supposed to have a conferences with and everything in the switchboard of the school's closed because there's no electricity you guys 20 minutes before my meeting which there's no way that I could have gotten there in 20 minutes from where I was 20 minutes before my meeting they call me to tell me to, to remind me that my meeting is that and even though there's no lights at school that they're still having it I said to the person, I said, well, you're just going to have to reschedule mine because I'm on the other side of the island. And there's like no way that I can get over to where you are and for 20 minutes, in 20 minutes for a 20 minute conference. There's just no way. Not going to happen. I said, but I've been calling all day. I said, why would you wait 20 minutes before the meeting to call me? And I said, because the switchboard hasn't been working. I said, I've been trying to call all day. And the guy goes, oh, that's puzzling. Let me go say, crazy. It's not puzzling. You know, it's not puzzling. There's just, you know, people, you know, I've had a dose of it today. So I was like, okay. He's like, well, can you come on Friday? I said, I don't know. I'll have to let you know tomorrow. Because I, honestly, I don't know if I can go on Friday. So that's how my day's kind of gone. It's ridiculous, but that's how it's gone. Today, Lizzie got happy mail from Germany. You can't sit crafting because it's it's a shared room, Malia. That happens, you know, I get it. <laughs> Joyce, she's glad she's through school. She 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 likes teachers but not school. You didn't go to the big concert because your mom wasn't well, Scotty? Yeah, but you got to spend time with her, you know? It's like... You got to spend time with your mom, and that, I think, is, like, priceless, right? Okay, let's see. I've got four going on. I'm going to get my gelatas out. Let me just see if I can find some focal points for my collages. I need I need more than just... I mean, I'm liking this 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 bird but I'm just it's just something about it that I'm not super crazy about I don't know what maybe it's the Burberry handbag that it was on <laughs> I don't know yeah I don't know I like the flowers I like some of it but some of it but I don't let me get it hmm. so are you lurkers say hey Say hey out there, all you lurkers. Say hey. Lurky lurkers, say hey. This one has like some cool writing on it that I like. Hmm. You wouldn't go back to being a teenager. Hi, D. <laughs> I had hot chocolate last night. It was cold here. It was cold here. Okay. I've got these going on. I've got the four of them. I'm not crazy about that. I'm going to have to look through my magazines if I find something else. Oh, I have one over here. I can add some painting paper to this one, too. I found a color one I like. All I know, you guys, is that Life is too short not to have fun, and I need fun. Who else needs fun besides me? I seriously need fun. I, I don't know what it is about the the not fun or the or taking everything so seriously that you don't allow yourself to just have the fun. 
Does anybody else? Does anybody else have that? Um, have that same sort of thing, like where you're like, I need to have. It, it just needs to be fun. It needs to be less stressful and more fun. I'm gonna look through this book here really quick and see if I can find a couple things for my for my collages. I have a whole thing of of collage paper, you guys of stuff that I've torn up and cut up for collage. I like the bottom of this. But I don't, obviously don't have it here. I like the gray bits. The gradation of the gray. Um, I need something for the red one. I need a red, I need a red something. Oh look, here's a bunch of red something. I don't want a handbag in my collage. Have you guys ever noticed, sometimes you're looking, oh I remember I left this chain link fence on the Chanel piece. Have you guys ever, um, ever noticed that if you took, and, and we claim to be much more diverse than we ever were, and I like the Bette Midler, um, I like the, the scary pictures of the faces in the Bette Midler ad. If we just took the, the faces off of all these models, they kind of all look the same. I mean, and we're in supposedly in the age of diversity. I'm like, I don't think so. I mean, all of their, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, we, we claim to be diverse, but yet, like this. We claim to be diverse, but we're not. Does anybody else hear that or believe that? Well, I like these ripples too. Let's see. I like the ripples on that page. All right, I have a few more things to work with. Okay, all right, let me see if I can focus on my red. Maybe I'll do some red with some some other. Hmm, I like this. Oh, you guys. If you guys had had my day or my past couple of days, I think you would have been like, is this a joke? You'd have been like, where's, who's laughing and who, who's, whose mess is this? Okay, let's see. Let's see, I've got these. I got a pink gold, a red gold, a yellow green. This, I've got my... I'm missing what you guys are saying. What are you saying? I love Bette Midler too. Bridgeline says she has a tattoo on her arm and it says, this is it. That's great, Bridgeline. This is it. Isn't that a Kenny Loggins song? Make no mistake where we are. All right, I'm going to get out my gelatos. I'm just going to try and see if I can find a couple of focal things in here. We have a Maui babe, which I don't think so, but see so if I can find a couple of focal things in here. Sometimes they have beautiful pictures, even though like they have the most ridiculous stuff in these little touristy magazines. But isn't that a beautiful picture of a whale jumping out? And it's exactly what it looks like. They said they spotted the first whales, so that's exciting. Isn't that exciting? The first whales are here. They're beautiful, you guys. It's it's uh, it's very awe inspiring to be swimming and just look up and you just see big huge whales right there, very close. And obviously you try not to swim out there so close to them, but they're around. Sometimes I find some cool stuff in here, but today. Uh, I don't know you guys, I'm not in my zen. I'm not in my zen. I think this pain, and I can't take anything for pain. Is, are any of you guys like that? You really can't take anything for pain? Okay, I like the top of this ad. Not the guy cutting the sushi part, but 
but this part up here I like. I can't take anything for pain, you guys. I am a big, it makes me sicker than the pain. So, does anybody else have that issue? Oh, there's pineapples in this one. This is kind of cool. Anybody else have that issue at all? I don't like the pink color from that. Anybody else have, like, I, I can't take pain meds. I mean, it's not that I don't want to take pain meds. I can't take them. I just can't take them. I, they don't work well with my body, and I can't take them. No matter what I want. No matter what. I can't. It doesn't. It just doesn't work for me. It does not work for me. Here's my crazy bird. Okay, this is getting better. I'm liking it better. Maybe I need a bigger piece. Maybe I need the bigger, the bigger piece. What about paper? You lost your scissors. <laughs> that sounds like me. What about paper, Joyce? I missed it. Where did Sean go? Sean, we're missing you. Where'd you go? You were supposed to tell us all about your, uh, you were supposed to tell us all about your, fat, your furniture making. And we were all looking forward to it. We we're looking forward to hearing all about your furniture making, Sean. We were looking forward to it. We were looking forward to hearing about your furniture making, Sean. So, Sean, maybe because we weren't talking about anything risque, you guys. I mean, which is not, which is, we don't always talk about risque things, do we? Because I don't know. Because, you know, we're always chatting with each other, so I never know. I don't think we're always talking about risque things. Do you guys think so? What do you guys think? Are we always talking about stuff that's rough? I don't think so, but maybe. Without me even knowing it. You found the scissors? <laughs> Check your criteria. You're terrible. You know what? I lose stuff all the time. Okay, Sean says he was at school in Ireland, and they called it St. Paul. It was called St. Paul's. And he thinks there was a mandatory age for seeing boys all day. I genuinely don't think that's beneficial for young guys at that age. Oh, okay. You guys talking about school part, and I missed it? I never went to an all-girls or anything like that school. Did any of you? Did any of you guys go to an all-girls school? <laughs> Joyce says naughty scissors. You guys are so funny. Now, I lose stuff all the time, and I usually use it, lose it right in front of me. Does anybody else have that thing? I usually, I usually, usually lose it. It's right in front of me, and then it's gone. Does anybody else have that? It's like you've been looking for it. You've been hoarding it. You have it. Yeah, Scotty says she doesn't like all girls or all boys schools. She agrees that it's better to have a more... Um, Better to have a more diverse environment. I mean, I understand. You guys, I um, I think that, I think that sometimes right now, at least for what I've experienced with my own children in school, is that there's like a fear of discussing what isn't working. Um, you know, there's like a fear of discussing like things that aren't just aren't working for kids. Like somehow it's going to be blamed on somebody because you're learning differences or, or whatever it is. And so I think that we don't talk about so many times we, we're so trying to like teach to a test or to teach to a way that we, we miss the whole 
diversity of of student body, we miss the diversity of kids or the diversity of learning styles. You know, I have three daughters and they all learn differently. None of them learn the same way. I think I'm going to have to back out of this peacock because of the bottom of it. I don't know. Yeah, socialization. I mean, think about how many people you know in your life that are adults that that don't that really can't socialize. I mean, there's lots of people, right? There's lots of people that have socialization issues, even without even, and it has nothing to do with. Uh, it has nothing to do with age or or socioeconomics or anything like that. You guys are so funny to talk about scissors and schooling. I'm missing the whole combo. <laughs> oh, Sean, that's so funny. You guys, I'm convinced that for my own children that I have to take the that I'm that I'm attempting, at least with my younger daughter, to take the to to take the electronic part out of her life. I mean, not ban it completely, but like not make it the focus at least of her home life. Because for me, what I'm witnessing, and maybe I'm wrong, is this whole electronic social media age gives people a really false sense of, of intimacy, of like social graces and intimacy. You know, and so we've just stopped. Like, when she gets home from school, we just don't, we might listen to music, but we very rarely do anything. Like, we, we, we pick some show to watch together if we're going to watch something, try to read, we art, and she spends as much time outside playing as she possibly can. And, you know, for me, it's just been, I don't know, I, I, I think that, Maybe I just didn't realize how much, you know, like we don't do any more video games or anything. She was getting like super angry. Like she was playing um, Minecraft. You guys know anything about or have any kids in your life that played that? She was becoming like the more she, she, it was almost like she would be obsessed with it. So we finally just took it away. Like I was like, I said, if you're going to act this way over, over Minecraft, we're, we're done with it because... There's no point. I mean, there was really no point at all in, in, the, in the type of energy that was coming because of it. Okay, so now I have like these three. Now I need to work on that other one. Where was it? I need to find something red for that one. No, I had another one. Where is it? Right here. This one's like yellowy green. You guys, don't overthink it. I, I was... I was like overthinking it and it's definitely better without the overthought. And it's just a postcard, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Just a postcard that you may or may not post to somebody. May or may not. It is up to you whether you post it to somebody or not. Um, so we've taken all that out of our lives and it's gotten better. It's definitely gotten better, at least for us. I can't, I mean, I'm not saying that you need to do it for your kids. I'm just saying you, for my kid, it's it's working better not to have that, that stress. I think we're missing, like, the whole real, I mean, think about it. Most of us grew up in an age where prior, at least, I'm not saying all of us, but most of us have grown up in an age pre all of this social media stuff, right? And so you know how to be polite and have social graces and, and that sort of thing. If you never have to even focus on it, it can be 
It can be really, it can be rather frightening and abrupt when you finally do. Okay, so now I need, all right, I got a focal point. I got too much mess on my desk here. My table's so small, you guys, it's ridiculous. Okay, so I have my pinky, the pinky thing. I've got my red one. I need a red something. I've got this one. I like this. Let's see. I don't know if this will go with anything. The chain link. I like this chain link, though. I like the... I don't know if it goes with anything, but I like it. I don't know, you guys. I think that watching my own children struggle with their own social things has been eye-opening. I mean, it's been eye-opening from the fact that, you know, they just need socialization has taken on a different, different thing. So, I don't know. That's a good rule, Fiona. No phones on during dinner. I mean, I think that's a really good rule. You know, I like hear my daughter's phone go off at all hours of the day and night. And I finally said something to her the other day. I said, you can't call anybody past a certain time. And she's just like, I'm not calling them. They're calling me. And I just thought to myself, you know, it's different when people are having to ring your home, right? So your kids could be having a whole life onto themselves without you even knowing it because they're doing it late at night or when everyone else assumes they're sleeping. Okay, I need something bread. I need some words. I mean, I'm going to use my gelatos now. And I'm liking this one. It needs some more stuff to it, but I'm liking it. I had no idea that they're not... I had no idea they're not teaching cursive writing in school. I, I'm working with my daughter because we write handwrite letters to people. I think we're just doing people a disservice. They think that texting or being in, you know, they, that they're really they're really being intimate in in ways when they're not. Okay, because they're not they're not doing any interaction. Okay, let me get my gelato things out, guys. I'm sorry I got carried away with my. Okay. These are like gelatos. They're called gel sticks. They're called rainbow gel sticks. I have never used them. I'm excited to use them. And thank you, Trish. And maybe I have a postcard right here that I was, that I just sewed. Maybe I'll try them out on this and then I'll know what I want. Then I'll know how to, how to use them. I think they're supposed to be like gelatos, but I don't know. So let's see. And I have a little watercolor brush here with it. I do have some water here. Let's see how it works. I like them. Okay, I'm really going to dig these. Okay, I'll test out the colors, but I think this is just what the doctor ordered with some of these. Not that you have to go back and paint them. You don't. You don't have to use it with water. You can do it without it. Oh, I'm digging them. I am so digging these. Oh my God, you guys have to get them. These And these were not crazy expensive. So I don't know where you get them. These don't have sparkle to them. I know Carla has some that have sparkle to them. These don't have sparkle. These are not sparkle crayons. These are just, um, just the, the crayon, the water soluble crayon. I'm digging them. I'm so digging them. I'm digging them. I'm digging them. Oh, I'm excited. I'm liking them a lot. Okay. 
Trish, where did you get them? Hobby Lobby? I don't know that I'm digging them. I'm liking them. I'm really liking them. I'm definitely digging them. Definitely. I imagine that you'd have to seal this before you put some, like, with an acrylic spray sealer or something before you wanted to add some extra stuff to it because it would make them run. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Anne. I'm sorry I didn't get to say hi to you. If I haven't said hello and you guys want to chat with me, talk to me in caps so that I see you. It's not that I'm trying. I'm trying not to miss you all. So, I'm trying not to miss you all. So, let me, I'm going to use some of Carla's stamps that she made, too. Let me see which ones I'm going to use going to use, let me find my stamping ink, oh my gosh you guys, I'm like, let's see, this one's my white ink, I don't want to use my white ink on anything, I like this Stampin' Up White ink, I can't tell you the name of it, I'll take it off in a minute and tell you. I'm liking my Stampin' Up, I'm liking the Stampin' Up, uh, white ink. Oh, I'm liking it, Carla. These stamps are awesome. They're rocking. Loving Carla's stamps. You guys go get her stamp video on how to make them. Her concentric circle stamps and her, and her other, I'm using white stamping ink, so. I'll tell you the name of it in a few minutes, girls. I don't know. Without looking it up, I don't know. I don't know, no, no. Well, I've got some circles going on here, too, so I could I could circle on this one, too. In the circle stamps. These are great, Carla. I'll just stamp it off. These are great. Carla, your stamps are awesome. You guys know us in our circle and our circle stamping bit. Gotta have some circle stamping. If we don't have any circle stamping, what can we do? Okay, this is, I'll tell you the name of it. It is Made by Stampin' Up, and it is Whisper White by Stampin' Up. I'm liking it. Oh my gosh, I love them. I'm like really in love with them. These are awesome. Okay, I'm gonna just, let me find have my other. I haven't tried, have you used them with your, um, have you used um, with permanent stamping ink? I, I prob that probably would not be the best, yeah? I'm like excited. I'm liking them. Oh, I'm really liking them, Carla. Like them. Awesome. We're awesome and liking them. Yay. No, that's really want that green one. I have a blank one somewhere. Where did I just my blank one? Here's my blank one. Hi, Sass. 
Carla says she uses them with everything, with gold paint and with that. Ooh, okay, I have gold paint. But I was just going to try not to run them. You know, I think I run all my stuff with gold paint. I'm, like, obsessed with gold paint. Is that the most ridiculous thing? I'm obsessed with gold paint. I'm super obsessed with gold paint. So the other day I went to the big box store that you guys know I'm not a big huge fan of like talking about because I feel like they don't even really need our help, right? But I was out of almost out of gold paint, out of my cheap gold paint. I don't want to finish a project that I'm making using for gold using gold paint in. That's when I found out that they have multiple, <laughs> how many colors of gold paint they actually have. So, anyway, I'm going to use my, i got to use it in the gold paint. I don't have any gold ink. I should get some gold ink. But I don't have any. See, you guys, my desk is, once again, a disastrous mess. That's just how I roll. I'll clean it up eventually, and it'll be good. It just won't be good for this moment. It just won't be good for this moment. Let me see if I can get my let's see if I can get my little leaf stamp you made me into some gold ink. I mean into some gold paint. Let's see what I can do. Let's see how it works out on my let me see it on my test. My tester. I'm a tester. Oh, my tester is awesome. Okay, let me see. Let's see if I can get it going on here. I definitely need something red in here. I need to look through my magazine until I find something better that I like red. Oh, I'm loving this. Carla, this is a great one. I don't know. Can you guys see it? It's faint, but can you see the gold? I like it. I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. Well, if you guys pop on over and you see Lizzie, tell her we missed her tonight, that we wish that we had seen her, but we understand because she was like, it was her birthday, and she was probably birthdayed out, you guys. Looks like she had the best birthday. And looks like she had a great birthday, and I'm just happy for her. Yeah, this is like some sort of fun foam. I don't know what kind of fun foam it is. Carla will have to tell you because she's the one that made these stamps, not me. Okay, I've got these two going on. This one's I'm still working on. i got to find a, a focal point for that one and that one. Let me move my mess. Okay, so I like these, these water-soluble crayon things. They're awesome. They really are good. Um... Carla stamps work, work excellent. So whatever she tells you to do on that video, go for it and do it because it's going to work out. I'm going to definitely do some more leafing. I'm going to do some circles. I'm gonna, I might do some gold circles. I'm just going to pick up my mess for a minute. I'm going to see if I can find a focal point. And then I have to decide what kind of, what I'm going to do for the, for the backs. I think the backs, I may just put some, let me clean my desk off, you guys, I got a good mess going on. I, I gotta have a mess, I can't, like, I can't craft neat. These go with the gelatos. I cannot craft neat. My life would just be too simple that way, right? If I crafted neat. Okay, that one's going. I'm liking the red one, it just needs a focal, or some words. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a, a little drawing on some paper. This one I'm liking too. This one I'm liking too. So I hope you guys get inspired to make your own paper, your own postcards. I mean, it's really nothing. You don't have to be so over, over, like I was probably overthinking my, my ridiculousness because that's just who I am, right? Because I have to overthink everything because it's just how I roll some days. Um. 
you don't really have to overthink it as much as I do. Good night, Sean. Yeah, catch you down the road. Blessings to you, Sean. We're happy you hung out with us. Thanks so much. What did you say, Carrie? You said she means when we send to a person in, as a rack, we can say from such and such and then group such as. Yeah, definitely tell them if you're sending them a rack from here that it's from people here. Joyce, are you part of our Facebook group? If you're part of our Facebook group, go on over and add your name to the rack list. It, my only rule with the rack is it if you guys are going to get, if you're going to put your name on the list, you have to be willing to send. You can't just be willing to receive because, you know, you have to, it, it's, it's, a, it's a give and take. It's not just for one, one side or the other. That's my only, that's my only thing about the rack thing is that you have to be willing to send and receive. Okay, so it's not like you, you know, don't you agree? I want to do, I don't have any, I don't know where my gold spray is, but I'm, I'm liking them so far. What do you guys think? I'm liking them so far. They just need a little work. Bye, Sean. So I'm liking this one. I mean, it needs, I need some words or something. Maybe I'll just find some word from a thing, but I'm liking it. And then the back, I'll just put some painting, I'll put some, this was a vitamin thing. <laughs> in the back of it, I'll put something else. If you do decide to send somebody one of these in the mail, make sure that you put your name on it. Yeah, I'm liking them too. And I'm liking this one. This one's just a piece of a magazine, some painting paper, some stamps. And this is the same similar thing but with those gelato crayons which I'm liking and then this one and I can still I'm gonna look through Carla's fish bits and I'm gonna see if I find something else I want to add to it she's got some really cool fish bits in here and I wanted to add I want to use this dollar but I just don't know where maybe not on these postcards but I want to use the dollar I want to use the dollar Night, Vicky. See you soon. Hey, Liz. How are you feeling? I hope you feel better. I really do. I mean, I'm sending you some healing thoughts. Liz has been under the weather. She had some sort of surgery, so everybody send her some love. And at Pat, we love you. Everybody's, like, sending you love too, Pat. And sending you some love, Sean. Send in you love, love, love. Okay, I need to find some more bits. I like this scary face. Is this not weird? This was on Bette Midler's jacket. It's like a cool scary face. What do you think? Bam, foam stamps. I'm sure they are easy for storing. I'm sure they are. I don't know what I'm going to put the scary face on because the scary face doesn't quite go with anything that I've got going on, but it's a good scary face, that's for sure. I don't know what I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on something. Thanks for sharing your evening with me, Vic. We love you. We're happy that you're here with us. We're so happy you're here with us. Always, always, always happy you're here with us. I don't know what kind of paper I'm going to put on the back. Maybe I'll just put some painted book pages on the back. But I have to write something. So the back is going to be where the address goes. Unless I stick it in an envelope. Which most of the time I do stick them in envelopes. Because even though it's, cheap, it's cheaper to send. I know it does look like a Halloween face. Even though it's cheaper to send a postcard. If you spent all the time making it like a piece of art. You want it to actually get there, right? Without it being torn up in a machine. Yeah, I hear ya. It looks like she's been dipping her toast in the egg. You're so funny. I've got like so much stuff on my hands. It's like, I don't know what it is. Right, is. I'm going to look through my painting papers just a few more minutes and see if I can find a couple of more. 
I put so much pink paint on that palette. Pink paint is all over me. It's ridiculous. Because I can't ever, like, function in a way where... You know me. I gotta, like, have make a mess and be a mess. And... Carla, I love this. Are these just little... Is it one stamp or is it a bunch of stamps? I like it a lot. They're little tiny rings. I like those. And I like this one, too. I actually think this one's complete. I don't think I need to do anything else to it. What do you guys think? I think it's complete. I think it is done. Thanks, Edna. Well, yeah, I bet you don't. You just have to do it. Carla says they're crazy lady circle. She uses a template. Well, I like them, but what are you drawing them with? Are you drawing them with pen? I mean, they look like they're inked. I like them. I like them a lot. All right, I think this one's done. I'm just going to, I just got to paint a paper for the back of it. I was going to add something to it, but I think it's done. I really do. I was like futzing with it and thinking I needed more, but I think it's good. I think I just need... I think I just need a a painted page on the back so that I can write a note to whoever gets it. And I'm gonna be done with it. I think it is done. Markers or pens, metall metallic sharpies, whatever. I like it. I like your crazy lady circles. I haven't ordered myself a circle template. You know, I used to have all that stuff when I made jewelry because that's how you mark and wax. You use the same templates when you work in wax. You use those plastic templates. You cut and you draw around them or whatever. But Or even when you're cutting stuff out of metal, you want it to be more, you use the same templates. So at one point in time, all that stuff was in my was in my arsenal of supplies, but now it isn't. So now I don't have any of it. So it is not in my arsenal of supplies anymore. So I don't have it. Let's see if I can just put it over here to the corner. So whoever's going to get this one, it's got a book page on the back. <laughs> it's got a book page on the back. Because otherwise it said whoever the guy's, whoever the guy was that does the seminar or whatever. And then I'll, I don't know, I'll write something. Maybe I'll paint over it a little bit with some gesso or something and then I'll write on it right Scotty, what was your favorite pens to write on top of gesso with? You were sharing that with everybody last week or the week before, but I don't remember. I don't remember. You guys, I'm contemplating moving. I've been, that's what's come up for me in the past week or so. Maybe, I mean, I've been thinking about it for a while. So this is what the back looks like, and I'll and I'll gesso over it, or I'll paint over it somehow. Let me put a little white paint on it. So we've been contemplating moving. We've been looking at, I've been, I've been let's just say Hadi's not looking at anything. He's like, he'll do whatever. He's like, I'm game, whatever you want to do. We've been contemplating moving, you know. We've been contemplating maybe considering moving back to the mainland. So... I don't know. I've been thinking about it. Kind of excited. If it happens, it won't. It's going to be a while. It's not going to be like this minute. But kind of excited about it. Kind of excited about thinking about the possibilities. About where we would want to go. And what we would want to do. So that's sort of been in the forefront of my of my mind. I mean, not that I'm going to do it. It won't happen in this minute, but 
the next maybe year. I don't know. So what's been coming up on our radar or what where I love is I love Myrtle Beach. Do you guys ever go to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina? I like the area. I like Although I may not be able to do the winter anymore. You guys have lived here so long. I may not be able to even do as mild as the winter is there. Guys, my phone is somewhere here ringing. This is so ridiculous. You guys, this is my life. Isn't that ridiculous? I don't know where the phone is. Hang on, you guys, let me just... Hey. I missed the call. You guys, I got a new phone and I don't even know how to use it. So, that's just been a contemplation. So, if that's what's going on with me, we've been talking about it. So, I mean, we don't have any friends there, so it's not like we're going to know anybody. Good night, Carla! How far do you live? How far do you live away, Malia? <laughs> Scotty said she lost her phone one night at her mother's and she looked all over for it and she had to call, had her call you. And she was sitting on your phone, Scotty. <laughs> I love you, Scotty. Now you realize what would happen to me. Okay, this one's done. One postcard complete, okay? And I'm liking it. And I can write on the back. I'm liking this one a lot. Okay. I love you, Scotty. That would be me. Okay. One postcard complete. Now I have a couple more to go. I would like some words on this one, but I don't know what. Maybe not. Maybe it's done enough. It definitely needs a book page on the back. I don't know. You guys, the cost of living is really high here. So this has been the conversation that we've had. The cost of living is really high. Most of our kids are like, I mean, we still have... I mean, obviously my oldest daughter is right now in China, but, you know, our other kids are, are, and we still have, we have two at home, and then my oldest one is in China, our oldest one is living in China, but, you know, he has kids, and his kids live on the main line, and we don't get to see them that much, that means they come, you live four hours away, Malia, oh, that's awesome, I like it too, Fiona, I'm like, kind of liking it, I was kind of like, making myself ridiculously trend and then I said I forget it just blew stuff down um so you know my thought is it's like well you know they're of age where they're gonna have kids you know grandkids and that sort of thing and I'd like to be around my grandkids so I don't know it's a thought we may not do it but that's just what we're thinking about and I've been so I've sort of been daydreaming and looking at places looking at houses that sort of thing I think we might live outside the Myrtle Beach area a little bit I mean, Myrtle Beach would be my focus, but we live outside that area. Um, and there's lots of really great properties and stuff. I want a piece of, I want a piece that has a piece of land. That's my only focus. My only focus is I'd like a couple of acres. Not because of any other reason except that if I could have a couple of acres, I love animals. You know, I'd love to have more animals than we do and, you know, that sort of thing. And he sort of grew up on a farm, so he's all into the... The animal thing too. I don't know. We'll see. Because we were talking about the pros and cons of it. I was talking about how I haven't had to buy a winter. How I don't have any winter clothes. And I haven't had to buy winter clothes in eight years. You know. <laughs> and you know. I don't have any winter clothes. And how we're like really spoiled with like. You know. I work where I walk around barefoot. I don't. I think we had to buy our youngest daughter some shoes. She was going to go visit her grandmother and she was like oh my god when she was little and she was like she had to, we had to buy her like real shoes not slippers and she was like she you guys you would have thought that we had like 
I don't know, made her wear a corset or something ridiculous. She was like, my feet are squish, my feet are squish. So that was a whole other thing. She doesn't like shoes either, so I don't know. I'm not an anti-shoe person. It's just, you know, if you don't wear them, you don't wear them. I don't wear shoes. In fact, I go barefoot most of the time. I don't know. We've, it's just been a discussion. That's where my head's been at, especially because of all the paperwork and crap I've been going through. My head's been about thinking about the possibilities. Okay, I'm liking this one too. I mean, it may need something else to it, but I'm liking it the way it is too. I'm liking it even if I, maybe I'll find some really cool word for it. I thought I needed more on it, but I don't think so. Um, right now, our kids live... Um, no, they don't necessarily live really close to Myrtle Beach, but you know, they're in college or graduating. One of them kind of moves around. He has lived in New Orleans for a while, and then now he's back on the, like in the Portland area. But you guys, I, I need, I need real sun, so I don't know that I would do well living in a rainy climate. So two postcards down. And then I have this one to work on. I have this, this one definitely needs a little bit more to it. But I'm liking this one. I'm liking the red one. I thought it needed to have more, but I'm wrong. And it didn't. I don't, it doesn't really need to have more. I'll put my fish bits back in my box so I don't lose them. And I'll pull them out again later to, to use them. I don't know. It's just for me, I would like to, because I'm feeling like the need to have like a house. That's what it really is. I had one on the East Coast for a long time, but I'm getting ready to let that house go. And part of me ha always thought, you know how like when you get yourself into space and you're just like, well, I have that house, you know, if I ever want to go back, I have that house. Well, pretty soon I won't have that house anymore. So the thought, it, the thought for me has been like, I just really want my own space. Like even if I don't live there full time all the time, I want my own house. Is that silly? Am I being ridiculous? Okay, so this one, I need to glue some of the bits down still. You like you like the green one just like it is? It needs something. I don't know what, though. Sometimes less is more, don't you think? Okay, so this one's done, and this one's done, unless I find some word for it. And this one, I think, is pretty much done. I think it's pretty busy as it is. I wanted something over this bird, but I don't, I've not found it. So the only one I have left to really work on is this one. Which I'm not quite sure what I want to have happen for it. But, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's just the space I'm in right now, you guys. I'm like... I'm in that space of like feeling like I need my own my own house. But I want some land to go with it. So that's where I'm at. I don't know that it's even gonna happen. I mean you know, one of our kids goes to college here and she's good with it, although I think she wants to transfer, so I'm sure she'll be good wherever we go. The other one's little, you know, so my daughter that's married, I don't know where she'll end up. She may end up at staying in China. She really loves China. She's, like, really digging it. Yeah, Joyce, we all do. So, I agree. We all need a home. So, that's what's going on. I'm just trying to figure out. Oh, I was going to paint on these. You guys, I'm so, I'm spazzed today. I don't know what is wrong with me. So what I like to do with these, if you guys have these, sorry, I've got a mess going on. I'm going to take a screenshot of my tiny desk, and then you'll be like, you were juggling things and leaning things off the edge like a crazy person. And I'd be like, yeah, was. Just kind of how it goes. Here in my, like, ridiculous tiny space. I'm going to put my little stamps up that Carla made me. I'm liking these stamps a lot, though. These are awesome stamps. Carly did a great job. You guys go over and support her. I love her so much. You know, she's got a great channel. 
page fish if you guys are remotely into collage or anything like that or even want to just delve into learning how to do collage go over and watch it it's like so fun and she really teaches you a lot she gives you a lot of free content every single stream there's not a stream that goes by that she doesn't give you a full-on lots of full-on free content and she's she's awesome sorry I'm just trying to clean up my mess here just a tiny bit okay so on these little so on these project life cards how many of you guys get these project life cards and they don't maybe they don't go with whatever you're working on I certainly have my own my own project life my own thing of project life cards that I get and they don't and I mean I like them and I love to journal on them I don't scrapbook you guys I do my own like smash booking does anybody do does anybody smash book I like to smash book which is kind of like scrapbooking, except it's sort of like haphazard and more, um, and more without a reason. Do, does anybody else smash book besides me? It's more free flowing, you know. So I thought it was kind of cool pink grid. So for me, what I do is I take these Project Life cards and I do them a lot like the postcards, where I but I paint. I don't paint. The whole thing totally out but I'll definitely paint some of it out because generally the colors are not within the color scheme of what I'm doing right and then I do them the same way I make them like make them like little art cards sometimes I sew on them if you have a sewing machine these are always fun to sew on too if you want to if you want to sew on something if you're a seamstress or a sewer And I like it. So that's kind of what's going on with me. I'm like going through my own crud. And I'm also like contemplating like, I'm really looking at myself going, you know, I need a space. I need a space for me. I need a place that's mine. I need, I mean, that's what I'm going through. And I know it seems ridiculous because, yeah, I live in one of the most beautiful places in the whole world. And I love, I love it, but it's crazy expensive. And then, you know, we've just been talking about our kids and we've just talking, been talking about like, are we going to you know how, how much of a, how much part of our kids' lives can we be from here? Does that make sense? You know? Whereas if we, if we go now or go in the next couple of years, right, and, and find our place there then we may very well just, the kids may all, you know, will all be used to visiting us there. Is that ridiculous? Is that ridiculous? Good night, Malia. I'm glad you joined us. Maybe you'll see us, maybe we'll see you on Friday. Maybe we will see you on Friday. So do your so do your project life cards this a similar way, you know? Collage on them, paint on them, cut them up, use them as different bits and pieces. You know, so you can use them as different bits and pieces. And then you can write on the back or you know, they're kind of like ATCs. Yeah, Carla has a collage kit called Fish Bits, and this is what it is. Did you see? It has all these really cool collage pieces in it. And she also has a video tutorial on how to make um, concentric circle stamps. And the video tutorial is really cool, and you can learn how to make all those stamps in it. And right now, there's like some sort of introductory price. Susan, how much is the introductory price? It's really reasonable. It's super reasonable. I think on Friday I'm going to, I will show you my paper bag journal that I've been working on. I've been working on a Victoria's Secret shopping bag journal. If I don't mess it up between now and then, because, you know, sometimes I refrain from telling you guys what I'm working on, because I've messed it up. I mean, like, where it's, like, not even repairable in my world. I have to, like, let it sit and then go back, like, 
whatever months later. Um, so, you know, you, you, um, Friday, maybe we'll paint some ugly, ugly scrapbooking paper. Cause I definitely, even though I got most of my scrapbooking paper from Tuesday morning, definitely have a few. Yeah, there's some of the scrapbooking paper that you like better than others, right? So I definitely have some ugly scrapbooking paper. Maybe we can uh, like make painted papers with ugly scrapbooking paper. How many of you guys are game for that? How many of you have ugly scrapbooking paper that you're like, I'm never going to use a scrapbooking paper? So, sorry, I'm using my glue top for my burnisher for my project, my altered project to life cards. So, you know, for me, that's the hard part is that if you guys see like how I'm constantly like altering things, I never, it's hard to throw stuff away if you think you may alter it or use it. Do you guys understand? Do you get it too? Do you get it too? Do you get it as well? Do you get like, it's kind of hard to like alter some, to let go of some Project Life cards if you're going to alter them or I don't know. You guys see my ridiculousness. You see my full on ridiculousness. I'm all about the using it up thing so yeah alter your project life cards for yourself I mean and you can still use these in your scrapbook it's not like just because you alter them doesn't mean you can't use them of course you can make them like mixed media cards I mean why not why not make them like mixed media cards why not make them like mixed media cards Make them like mixed media cards and then just go for it. You know, it's like. You know, make them like mixed media cards and then use them in your, you, if you project life, use them in your project life bits. I mean, I think I have some project life sleeves somewhere in my house. I will look for them. Not that I used them for project life. I used them for, um, to keep to keep little tiny things in but you know those they're like uh oh my gosh what is it called for for um guys baseball cards sorry i couldn't think of what they're called um what do you say looking for international crafters they stream on thursdays Are you talking about, um, yes, you hear a flute. It's my neighbor's, it's the neighbor across the street. The little girl's playing the flute. I'm telling you guys with the electricity out, nobody has anything on or whatever limited electricity we have. Nobody has anything going on right now because of the, the limited electricity. Um, there, Fiona's saying there's not that many people outside of the U.S. that do live streams. Um, there are. <laughs> oh my God! Scotty said she was live for Pocket Man, and they might have they might kick her out of the oncology center. Last week we laughed over B.J. and Jan's Christmas present. Jan got like some four-inch naked doll. And BJ got a pickle dish. Okay, we laughed until we cried. I'm sorry, guys. I found it so hilarious. It probably wasn't nearly as funny as I found it, but I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was so funny. I really did. It was just everything. It was so funny. It was just, it was very funny. I thought it was very funny, at least. Did you guys think it was as funny as I did? It was, it was so, 
it was just hilarious. She was so funny talking about her pickle dish. You know what? That stuff would have happened to me, you guys. My mother was like that. She was so eccentric that she would have given me something like that and been all proud of it. My sister, I was telling my sister about it, and she and I were laughing because our mom would have totally done the same for one of us, for both of us. And our mother was a ceramicist, okay? So she did make me an olive dish, but I was much older. And it was a piece of her handmade ceramic, so I, I kept it, but it was hilarious. There, Susan said there's a person named Steel Crafter, and she's from Australia. You guys go over You know what? Maybe we'll link all the international crafters that you guys want to talk to. You know who's... I don't know if they do live streams, but you know who I love is I like Betsy Doodle. Do you guys like Betsy Doodle? She's in... Is she in England? She's... I think she's in England. I don't know if she does live streams, but I like her. Lizzie! I was just talking about you. I was telling everybody that we saw your birthday stream. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lizzie and Bet. Happy birthday to you and many more. I was telling everybody I was watching you last night while you were making your little traveler's notebook or your little your little journal from your from your die it was awesome oh my gosh you guys I laughed so hard that was so funny the pickle dish from from BJ that just made me laugh Jan's naked doll and BJ's pickle dish okay so if you guys have these project life cards and you don't love them make them something you like I mean I still got a ways to work on mine but I still got some stuff to do to it, but I'm liking it better. I'm liking it way better. Lizzie, we're happy that you're here with us. We were just saying, I was telling everybody you probably weren't here because you're exhausted because you were partying like it was 1999 last night, sister. You were partying with all those. I was there. I said hey to you a couple times, but you guys were in the middle of all kinds of this. It was awesome. She had tons of people wishing her happy birthday. So, Lizzie, I made junk mail postcards. That's what I'm making. And I'm doing some altered Project Life cards. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm altering my Project Life. I got my Project Life going on. Got some Project Life cards going on, and just trying to decide what else I want on my Project Life cards. Altering my Project Life. You guys, don't you find it funny that they call them Project Life cards? I do. I feel like my whole life is a project anyway, so. Maybe I'm going to use my, you guys know I love my lids. Plus, I bought a bunch of new gold paint, but I don't have it over here. Maybe I do. Maybe I have it here. I'll show you all the various kinds of gold paint that you can buy from, um, or that I bought. I can't say that this is all there is. Okay, this one's called Inca Gold, Royal Gold, and Antique Gold. And then what is the one I have open here? This one's also called Inca Gold. So the one I've been using is Inca Gold. So the only one you guys haven't seen is Antique Gold. That is what I bought at the... That's what I bought at the big box store for metallic paint. That is what I bought. And I thought he bought me a gunmetal gray one. Actually, Hottie bought him for me. I think I thought he bought, he bought me a gunmetal gray one, but maybe he didn't. Maybe it was only in my head that there was a gunmetal gray one. It could have been. You're loving altering stuff lately too, Elizabeth? I know, right? It's like fun. It's like sort of addictive too. How many of you guys are addicted to altering things? I so am. In my own ridiculous way. In my own ridiculous way, I am addicted to altering things. 
I'm using Carla's homemade stamps that she sent me. And I'm painting on that cheap acrylic paint with one of those cheap big store brushes, sets of brushes. They sell like a mixed pack of brushes for like $5. And you guys, they're not good brushes. They're like, I mean, they're fine for what I do. They're not natural hair brushes. But, you know, I figure I can't go wrong because my kids use my stuff too. And can I tell you, it, it's heart-wrenching when you see like a $30 paintbrush that one of them has gotten into and used glue with and didn't clean it. So... Using Carla's Carla's stance that she teaches you how to make in a tutorial. Oh, I'm loving it. All right, what do you guys think? My altered project life card. What did you say, Fee? I'm sorry. Go bring the munchies. Okay. They're good stamps. You're totally addicted too, Sherry, to altering things. Yeah, well, I'm addicted to it, too. It's ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous, but I am. I'm totally addicted to it. I'm addicted to... I'm addicted to stuff like that. It's okay. I'm good with it. I'm good with my addiction. Hello, my name is Shelly, and I am a recycling addict. <laughs> you guys, how ridiculous is that? Can you imagine? Do you guys have people in your lives that don't understand your obsession with recycling and doing trash and junk mail? My family's getting much better at it. They're, they're starting to save me stuff. They start, they're starting to save me recycling stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys. They're saving me, like my one of my daughters... The one that's in China, she's like, oh, mom, wait till you see all the cool stuff I've gotten for you. And I'm like laughing, I'm like thinking that's so great. Like, I said, it's going to cost you a fortune to bring it back. She's like, nah. She goes, we have friends that are traveling to and from. So I'm loving this, you guys. Even if it doesn't stand perfect, I'm liking it because I didn't put enough paint on it. You have to get the tutorial. It's like follow $5. You know, it's definitely worth it. Especially because we love Carla, you know, it's like supporting her. It's totally supporting Miss Carla Caged Fish. And I really, you know what, she's been giving good content on YouTube for a long, long time. She used to do lots of YouTube and then um, YouTube messed with its algorithm and it's not always easy. So for a while she was doing Ustream. And then I can't. Honestly, I don't know why. She, I can't remember why she switched back from YouTube to Ustream. But she's always showing some love. She always gives excellent, excellent content. She always teaches you something you would go to a class to pay for, you know, and, and she's giving it to you for free. So I think any way that we can support her, or support each other in that way, you know, everybody that gives good content. If you enjoy their content and you want to see them stay up, Support them on Patreon. Support them on in their Etsy store. Support them however you can. And it doesn't mean you have to do a lot. You can do a little. You know? You can totally do a little. Hey, Nancy! What was free? Your son doesn't understand why I get so many magazines and you keep telling him, oh, did you sign up for the free cycle thing? Because I, ha I haven't finished my free cycle. I should. Okay, I'm liking these Project Life cards. I'm liking them. I'm liking my altered Project Life cards. I'm also, I need a book page so I can stamp my, I can do my, my leftover metallic inks on there. Yeah, she makes, she has a bunch of videos on there, Lizzie. She has, 
She has a stamp, stamp making stamp video on there that she does for free. And she just did one, I think, that she's charging like $5 for. You have to email her for that one. You have to email her and tell her you're interested in that one if that's the one you want. But she does have one in there that's free. She has more than one, I think, that she does for free. So I'm liking my Altered Project Life cards. I think I'm going to use them more now that I have them. This one I have to work on. I'm going to clean up my little stamp, my little foam stamp. Yeah, she gives good content. So do you, Elizabeth. You give great content. Have you guys gone over and watched Lizzie's Boho Journal content? She's making some really rockin' boho journals. She is making some rockin' boho journals. Go over and check her out. Elizabeth Brewer on YouTube. You'll love it. Rockin' boho journals. Yep. Rockin' boho journals. You do lots of cool stuff, Elizabeth. They're like traveler's notebooks, right, Lizzie? You really like traveler's notebooks? Carla is awesome. We love our Carla. And I'm loving my stamps that she made me. Why, I love you, Elizabeth. We all love you. Go over and watch her. Go over and watch her. She's also doing a giveaway. Is your giveaway over, Lizzie? Is your giveaway over? She's doing a subscriber giveaway. And her subscriber giveaway was... Is it over? Yeah, Susan says start selling your boho journals on YouTube, Lizzie. I agree. I second that motion, Elizabeth. Go for it. Sell your boho journals. I'm gonna use some of my gelatos. I'm liking these gelatos. If you guys haven't tried them, go get them. These are the these are like what was the brand? I don't have the. What did I do with the box? I had it right here, but it must be on the floor under the table. I can't. Oh, here it is. These were from a gift from Trish, and they are called. Handmade, I think she got them at Hobby Lobby, I'm not sure, for Michaels. They're called Rainbow Jam Gel Sticks, okay? They're like gelatos, but they were like really inexpensive compared to gelatos. They're called Rainbow Jam Gel Sticks by Creativity for Kids, okay? And there are 12 of them in there, and I don't know what they cost because she told me she got them on sale. I like the boho too, Nancy. That's telling you, get on it. Good night, Mary. What's cool about this gelato things is that you mix them, put a little water with them, and then they make like watercolor. They're like super cool. And it smears like watercolor. And it's like, I'm like digging it. What do you guys think? Isn't it cool? Feel better, Mary. Okay, my lovelies. Who is up for a little bit of energy work before we say adieu? I love you girls. We have streamed way over my normal time. These are like the, these were not, these are made by Creativity for Kids. And if I remember correctly, Trish told me that they were on sale, but I don't know. 
So I don't think they were like super pricey. I think gelatos can be super pricey. So how many of you girls, I like the blue toothy. How many of you girls are up for a little energy work? And you guys know that I have a monthly free uh, meditation or energy work session. Um, if you look at the link of my last, one of my last videos, it's in there. You just sign up and then you're like sent the free link to the monthly free meditation. Um, it's just, it's like the energy work we do here, but it's like a half an hour of it or 20 minutes of it. It's like longer and it's straight energy work. Um, Susan said they're called Sparkling Water Gel Crayons by Uli on Amazon. Those are the ones that Carla told you about caged fish. That's what, that's what, um, that is what she was telling you guys that she uses for her painting papers. But these are just inexpensive ones and they, they don't have glitter with them, but they're awesome. And I'm liking them and I'm going to use them a little bit more. So if you guys, you're an energy worker too, Nancy, that's what I do. I'm an energy worker and a, and a medium as well. So if you guys want to um, join for the free um, energy work meditate, monthly energy work meditation, there's a link in the description box, or I'll make sure there is one, at least in this video. And, um, and you just go to, it'll send you to a page and you just add your email. Your email will never go anywhere. It just sends you a link to the meditation on the day of the meditation. And right now, the meditation has been on the third Saturday of every month. And it's been at 8 a.m. my time, which is um, 2 p.m. I think 8 my time is 2 p.m. Eastern time. And after daylight saving time, it'll be still 8 a.m. my time because we don't have daylight saving time, but it'll end up being 1 p.m. Eastern time. So if you guys want to, um, energy work, all right, energy work. So I don't know, Jennifer, why don't you experience it? So you can just, I don't know what type Nancy does, but the type I do is, is a clearing energy work. A medium is like a clairvoyant or clairaudient or clairsentient or like a psychic kind of. I mean, it's the same word as medium. But, um, you know, everybody's work is going to be a little different. And, you know, everybody's work is going to take you to a different place. What I do specifically, I mean, I work with a lot of people individually and do different things with them individually based on their need. But what I do in my Saturdays, the, the monthly... In, in the monthly... Like, kind of like Reiki... You know, kind of like Reiki. Um, in the monthly free meditation that I'm doing right now, it's really all about um, clearing, doing some clearing work. Because, you know, when we're clear from the patterns that we have, we can be more in alignment with what is right and purposeful for us. And everybody has, everybody has a different soul's blueprint, right? So what's right and purposeful for me may not be what's right and purposeful for you. So... You know, what I do is I work with you to um, let go of whatever it is that you have standing in the way of what you want in your life and things that are blocking you and put you more in alignment with yourself, with your higher self. So it's really the energy, you know, really I don't do anything. I just assist you, your higher self, in aligning yourself up with you. Does that make sense? You know? And so that's what I do. Everybody does something different, so... So if you guys, how what I do works on conscious consent. So if you want to receive the energy work, all you do is say yes to yourself. And if you don't want to receive the energy work, you just say no and it doesn't come to you. And if you go back and you listen to any of these videos later on, they are all, the energy work stays there. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays on the video. It's always there for you. You can go back and use it anytime. Okay? I'm liking these cards. I mean, I wasn't so sure initially, but I'm, I'm digging them now. So all you need to do is, that's how it works. So put your feet flat on the floor. And some of you, I had one, we had one lady here last week or the week before that she's bedridden and can put her feet on the floor. And that's fine. Just image your feet on the floor. It's really more about you being in connection 
with the earth. You know, we're all inhabitants here on this beautiful planet and we're all part of it. And so it's really about you being in connection with you. That's all it is. And for you receiving, it's like a plant, you know, growing in the sun. If you're, if you're sheltered by a tree, then you don't grow maybe straight up and, and flourish it the well, the best you can. Um, and if you're, Roots aren't allowed to be really deep into the earth. Maybe you can't grow up as big and tall as you'd like. Same with humans. You know, connecting to the earth, we do receive, we, we receive energy whether we are aware of it or not all, all the time from the earth. And um, the more conscious we are about our connection, the more we can line up with things that are right and purposeful for us. Right? Not, it's never the same for anybody. It's always a little bit different. So put your feet on the floor, or if you can't, image your feet on the floor. And if you can uncross your arms and legs, that's always good too. just helps you to have a more wide open connection. Now, people receive things many different ways. Some people see things. Some people hear things. Some people feel things. Some people just know. There's no right way or wrong way. Every person's body personality is different. And every person, however you receive it for you, is right and purposeful for you. So you may not receive it the way I do or the way somebody else does, and that's okay. There's no right way or wrong way. Your connection to you is yours. So image yourself in a big pillar of light. And if you look up, you can't see the top. And when you look below your feet, you can't see the bottom. Allow this pillar of light, this column of light, to surround your body six feet in all directions. Feel it growing bigger and wider with each breath. Breathe in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. And feel your beautiful pillar of light getting bigger and bigger. Ready? Breathe it in. And breathe it in and experience your own light. Now I want you to allow your column of light to go deep, deep, deep into the earth. And when you go as far as you can easily and effortlessly and enjoyably imagine, allow it to have roots big tree roots like oak tree roots feel your roots getting bigger and wider ready breathe it in and feel them expanding down into the earth and one more time breathe in and feel your roots anchoring deep 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 into the earth Now give your body personality permission to feel, see, think, or know, and experience the beautiful energy that the earth has to give you. I'd like to envision this energy as gold, but you can see, feel, think, or know this energy any way that works for you. Ready? Breathe this beautiful gold earth energy up through your roots. Ready? Breathe it in. Feel it rising through your feet ankles, calves, knees, thighs, and hips. Ready, breathe it in. Rising up from the base of your spine to your lower abdomen. To your navel center, your heart. Your throat. shoulders, out your arms and out your hands, ready, breathe it in, feel filling your throat and your face and fountaining out the top of your head, ready, breathe in your connection to the earth, and breathe it in. And breathe it in. Now 
Now allow your attention to rise up above your head. Give your body personality permission to receive the beautiful energy from the cosmos, beautiful heavenly, cosmic, angelic energy. I envision this like silver, but you can see, feel, think, or know it any way that works for you. Feel it coming through the top of your head and mixing with your earth energy and spreading in your column all around you. Ready? Breathe it in. Feel it trickling down from your head to your throat, to your heart, down your shoulders and out your fingers, down your spine, in your heart, Feel it in your lower, your, your navel center, in your lower abdomen. And feel it pouring out your legs, right? From your thighs to your knees to your calves to your ankles, out the bottom of your feet and deep into where your roots are. Ready? Breathe it in. And breathe it in. And breathe it in. Feel your connection to heaven and earth. Now I want you to focus on your heart. And on the inhale, I want you to breathe in any and everything that you feel that you need in this moment to help support you on your journey. And only you know what that is. On the inhale, you're going to breathe and receive that love into your heart and all of the support you need. And on the exhale, I want you to let go of anything that no longer serves you. And you don't even need to know what it is in order to let it go. Ready? Breathe in and receive what you need. Breathe it into your heart. Focus on your heart. Breathe it in. And on the exhale, let go of anything that doesn't serve you. And breathe it in. And let it go. And breathe it in. And let it go. And one more time. Receive any and all things that you need to assist you on your path. Ready? Breathe it in. And exhale and let go of anything that doesn't serve you. And one last time, receive in love and release in love. Now I want you to breathe in and receive any and all support that you need. And on the exhale, I want you to give back all that you're asking for and more to everyone here with us, anyone that may watch this in the future, and also send it to anyone and anywhere that you feel that may need extra support right now. It could be a family member, it could be your neighbor, it could be your pets, your home, a piece of land, the water, the earth. It could be all the victims of all the hurricanes and natural disasters, the fires, the hurricanes, whatever it is. Receive what you need on the inhale and on the exhale. Let's collectively send it to all those in need. Ready? Breathe it in. Receive in love, now give in love. Receive in love and give in love. Receive in love and send it out in love. One more time, receive in love and give in love. Tell me what you girls feel, see, think, or know. And it can be anything. There's no right or wrong.
can be anything. Some people feel more calm, some people feel just a more at peace, some feel connected more to the earth. Some people feel more whole in who they are. Jennifer, it does work. It does work. Tell me what you girls feel, see, think, or know. Nancy says she feels relaxed and the energy moving better. Awesome. Has any of you guys been having headaches lately? If you guys have been having headaches lately, make sure your tree roots are bigger and wider down into the earth, right? Allow that energy to move through to you. You're welcome, Nancy. Did I lose some of you? Sometimes it puts you in an altered state. It can make you sleepy. It, you know, it, it, it works different on different people, right? It's your own energy actually working with yourself. So. You can come back and listen to this anytime. The energy work stays out. It doesn't go anywhere. You just give yourself conscious consent to receive it. That is all it is. Oh, I'm glad you're relaxed, V. I've been sending you so much love, and I've been sending your mom. It, you know, every day that we have a... A, a, a stream and you're not here, I always include you. Always, always, always include you. Always, always, always. Hi, Jane. Oh, thanks, Laura. If you go back and you just want to listen to the last 15 minutes, you'll get some energy work. But all of you receive it, whether you were here or not. That's just my intention, you know, that you receive what you need. He didn't miss anything tonight. We just, you know, all we did was make some altered um, junk mail. This was just junk mail. Let me see. Click, look, see, junk mail. I made some postcards. That's all. I appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks, Laura. We made junk mail postcards and then we altered some Project Life cards for, um, you know, you can put them in your journals or you can put them in, if you do Project Life, you can, you know, sometimes we get stuff and we don't, we don't actually like what it is. So it's always kind of fun to, to alter it. I'm glad you're okay, Fee. I've been sending you so much love and I'm really glad that, um, that you're home and, I look forward to hearing all about your mom. You almost went to sleep, but oh, that's good. Because that means you released a lot, and you probably needed to. You know, so many times, girls, we go through these days, and we pick up all kinds of energies, and we stress ourselves out over all kinds of stuff. And Lizzie, if you go to my, if you if you hit the link of what I'm telling, uh, for the the my free energy session it takes you to my blog and I have a blog and it talks about about energy work and how to um, how to work with energy work and that sort of thing there's a blog on there it's called body soul alignment so yeah about I've been doing energy work my whole life but about eight years ago um, I received a download um, actually living here in Hawaii, about what we do when we put ourselves out of alignment. And we do it to ourselves, okay? We do it to ourselves. We, 
there's many ways to put yourself out of alignment, but mostly we do it by just not listening to our inner voice. You know that little voice inside of us? You know? And then I received this process, but at the time it wasn't, it was not for everyone. But now it is. So I give it, um, I do have a, I do it free. I give it free. Every time you guys listen here, I always give. I always give it freely, and whenever it, when you guys are crafting with me, because crafting's my passion, just like you know, like it is mo many of you. But I also do a free monthly energy work session online, and then um, I do. I have a paid one that's like a really inexpensive subscription for a month, and there I work more closely with people, and it's more intense. So. And it's, and it's not expensive. Yeah, no, we're so happy you're back. But if you go on my blog, Lizzie, and you know what? You can always email me. And I'm ha I share pretty much I share everything that comes to me freely. I do, I do. And if you join for the month, it's like if you want the monthly energy work sessions, it's like $25 a month. It's not, and it's for uh, on top of obviously you get the free session but it's for much more um intense sessions where you go through and you know puts you back into alignment with you and your higher self and everybody receives the same thing not everybody experiences it the same way that's just kind of what it is but it's it's definitely um works for me and it helps a lot of other people too and you know I still have bad days too it's not like it's per I'm not like I'm perfect in any way shape or form but I have to it just always reminds me just to refocus back on myself and get myself back into um into myself I love you girls I love you so much you have no idea Love you, Fee. I'm so happy you're home, and we have to catch up for sure. All right, my lovelies, who's still here so we can all say goodnight to each other? Just say, let me see your name so I can make sure I give you a little extra boost before the end. Love you, Susan. Love you, Bud. Love you, Fee. Love you, Nancy. Sending you so much love, girls. Good night, Liz. I hope you feel better. Love you, Lizzie. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth Brewer. You guys go over and sub to her channel. Yeah, aloha. You know, aloha means love. Aloha means I love you. It also means hello. It also means goodbye, but it means with love. Good night, Amberly. Sending you love. And your and your beautiful family too. Good night, Laura. If you guys haven't joined our Facebook group, good night, Joyce. If you haven't joined our Facebook group, go on or over. It's called Crafting Mamas. Good night, Sherry. Sending you so much love. Stay warm in Canada, Sherry. Stay warm. Aloha, Jane. Get your junk mail and start making some fun junk mail postcards. They're actually really fun to make. Some altered postcards. I hope you guys try it. Good night, my lovelies. I'm sending you so much love. So, so, so much love. And as always, from my heart to your heart, so much aloha. See you guys on Friday, okay? Aloha. Aloha.